Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that you too will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. It is my prayer that from tonight your life will change in a very remarkable way. Life is full of choices. You can choose to let today be like any other day. You can make up your mind that today will be my day of encounter. You can make up your mind that today will be my day of liberty. You can make up your mind that today will be the day that I break open to new levels of grace, new dimensions. Hallelujah. I want us to realize that every time God speaks, it is because he has examined himself and concluded that he has the power to make it happen. Are we together? Before God speaks a thing, he looks at himself. That's what it means to be faithful. It's his name. It's not an attribute. He looks at himself. So if he says, I want to bless you and lift you, he first searches, do I have the capacity to make this happen? If he does not have the capacity to make it happen, he will not speak. And God has declared, he's opened up this series to us. It is because he wants to bless us in the name of Jesus. I'll teach you just two laws to light, just two more laws. Please get success system part one and part two. Get it even if you were here. It's free. Part one and part two. Listen to this. These are the keys that we operate in this kingdom. I was teaching the school of ministry students yesterday and I was telling them how that. Don't ever be confused that we're operating in two systems. Everybody say two systems. There is the kingdom of darkness, the world system of doing things. Are we together? And there is God's system of doing things. If you follow the world system of doing things, you will be frustrated for sure. You will be unfulfilled for sure. You will live a life of pain and misery and frustration for sure. You may laugh temporarily. You may pretend that it is working. But I assure you, as surely as the sun rises and sets, you will find out that eventually your life will be full of disappointment. I have been sharing with us the laws that are responsible for dramatic breakthroughs. Write this down. The first thing I want you to write is nothing happens on its own. Nothing happens on its own. Failure does not happen on its own success does not happen on its own lifting does not happen on its own stepping into a realm of the anointing does not happen on its own a business does not grow and expand on its own a ministry does not become great on its own every level of success is initiated 
and sustained by laws write it every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws l-a-w-s laws principles keys a door does not open because you want to enter your desire to enter is not the seed for open doors access to the key is what opens the door you can stand in front of a door you can wish to enter you can hope to enter you can even ask to enter you can beg to enter but the door will not open it was not designed to open just from wishing whoever possesses the key is the one who opens the door have you seen a very big door being controlled by a small key and because that key is missing you can stand outside from morning till night is that true and so the things that we are going to be learning tonight especially for the laws i'll be sharing with you i pray that god will help you and give us understanding to believe them in jesus name let's recap on the laws we've been discussing so far right from part one can you open your notes and let's just quickly look at them law number one help me please the law of relationships very important I don't care who you are I don't care what you studied I don't care what school you went to relationship um, is very key to success who you know matters don't say who you know does not matter no sir you are people away from your destiny you ignore those people you never get there you will find God but you may never arrive there all blessings come from God through men to you please repeat it after me from God through men to me one more time from God through men to me it never comes from God to you directly it comes from God through men to you there is an impartation that is coming from God it's leaving heaven but it's going to pass through men to you are we together your prosperity comes from God when it comes from men you're in trouble it comes from God but men have always been channels I told us when we started that anything money can buy relationships can buy I don't care what it is name anything you know on earth that requires money to get relationships when you pay money you don't pay stones you pay men you don't pay goats you don't pay animals when you give money the sky does not pick the money it gives it to the men they can choose to allow your relationship pay for it are we together that's law number one what's law number two help me the law of value never forget this another word for the law of value is the law of difference you can call it the law of reward that my relevance as far as success is concerned is tied to the solutions i can provide and the problems i can solve you're not solving any problem you are unnecessary and will not be needed there's no sentiment about it are we together a sick person needs a doctor a, someone who wants furniture needs a carpenter is that true yes you must find your place in the realm of greatness by becoming unique at your giftings value whatever ability you have never ask for a dimension you do not have the value to exchange for it the law of value works based on a reward system lord i want you to give me 1000 members you must rise to the place where you sustain spiritual value in terms of grace revelation access understanding and content to be trusted with those kinds of people when you rise to that level of anointing you don't have to call them they will come in response to it so if you pastor 12 people don't sit down and complain and get angry and say i i saw in my vision that i'm pastoring a nation but as you increase in value are we together the day three dead people are raised from your church you don't need to publicize for new people journalists will come you don't need to invite them is that true listen i want you to take this take this very law law two very seriously the law of value that means 
if people ignore me if everywhere i go i am ignored it's not because they hate me i am not a contributor are we together now the world celebrates contributors not not takers unfortunately we live in a society that is full of takers what is in this for me and life tells you there are all kinds of blessings but only a portion for those who have the ability and the grace to contribute are we together whoever solves the problem gets the reward Goliath of God was roaring and there was a throne there was a wife there was a tax-free opportunity everybody was afraid to confront that challenge but a young teenager called David came and said Saul I'm able to take on Goliath and he said what shall be done for the one who does this he will get a wife his family will be freed from tax and he will be honored David said I take up that challenge do you know it was a risk if Goliath killed David they will say we said it now go and bury him and uh, Jesse take it easy you have other sons so it was a risk standing between you and your throne is a problem to solve the kinds and the quality of problems you solve determines the reward that comes to you are we together yes that's why there are different kinds of restaurants based on the quality that they produce are we together the amount you pay for this chair is not the amount you pay for the white chair you are sitting on why they are all chairs but qualities even among the stars one excelled above another in glory that determines your 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 reward it is foolish to give so little to life and demand so much no your reward is commensurate to your value so if i think my financial returns is small that simply means i am solving small problems or solving problems for small people whoever solves a millionaire's problems has access to a millionaire's finance are we together yes the tailor who sold your cloth is laughing with your money now in his house you parted with that money because you could not sew for yourself the day you learn how to sew you will stop paying him is that true ladies and mothers you went to the market today you woke up in the morning with money in your pocket now that money is not there where did it go to it went to the one who solved the problem you were looking for so if all you do is keep meeting problem solvers you will be broke because money will continue to leave you to them the day you join them as a problem solver somebody's money now comes to you are we together when you solve more problems than your needs you become rich irrecoverably more problems than your needs your needs are ten thousand the problems you solve is one thousand you are minus nine thousand that's a life of frustration up today down tomorrow are we blessed the law of value the key to getting out of a life of complex a life of inferiority it's not just to say people don't like me oh I am this I came from this village all that is nonsense the world will throw away every excuse to honor valuable people there are sport athletes who sometimes have to speak their native languages and they will interpret nobody has forced them to speak English you know why because what they are doing is their sport their field their footballers that you see with all kinds of things regardless of their limitations they chase after them who pursues you is a sign of your value who pursues you if weak and low and beggarly people seek you is a sign that that is the quality of the value you provide for them if great influential people pursue you is a sign that that is the value listen every man's financial destiny with respect to value and solution provision is left in his hands it's left the hand of god long ago it's in your hands we have a very funny world that believes people should just bless you and give you money for doing nothing and i always ask that question who do you think you are the world is made up of 7.2 billion people who wake up every morning looking for who can solve their problems and you don't solve any problem you see that's why armed robbery and corruption is bad 
you see that a corrupt person has reward without value you see why we say corrupt people are bad so we see someone building houses and estates but we ask, whose problem did you solve if you can show us the problem you solve we don't have a problem with the rewards whether financial or otherwise so next time you ever see a rich man don't be angry find out what value what problem they are solving that answers the question as to whether pastors should be blessed or not i'm not talking of a life of extravagance you know most times when people see pastors blessed they say ah, just for talking That's the thinking of a fool. The words I speak unto you, they are what? Spirit and life. A pilot is paid over 0.5 million per month. Why? Because he's flying people across places. That's someone's salary for decades. And someone just finishes an aviation school within two years or three years and is receiving over 500,000 is the value. Every accident from a plane crash ends in death immediately, except some divine intervention comes. So that's a risk. Are we together? You sit down and for 50 minutes, sometimes eight hours, when you're traveling from Africa to Asia, 90% of your journey is across water. You don't see a single land. And somebody is risking to take you over 45, 50,000 um, um, uh, feet above sea level. Now that's mastery. So he's rewarded. You who didn't have the courage to go to that school, you are the payer. And the pilot who risks himself is the recipient. The day you are angry, what do you do? You go to the school. When you learn it, Are we together? Do not ever frown at a rich man again. Do not ever insult rich people. We have this ugly, most of our loved ones, sincere people, but they are truthfully speaking, not offering any value. And whenever they see blessed people, they say, see them, see them. It's a terrible way of living. Next time you see great people, don't be angry. Find out what they are doing that you're not doing. The law of value. Number three. The law of competence and excellence. Closely related to the law of value. Value as a raw material is useless. It must be refined before it is rewardable. Value must be refined before it is rewardable. Value as a potential is not rewardable. It's the same thing as seeing crude oil as a dark paste of smelly substance but when you pass it through the required operations then you produce foil you produce other um, other very useful um, uh, um, what do we call it now very useful things that are required for home for cars and whatever you have and then they reward them competence is very important I taught you that excellence is a language it draws certain people to you the same way if i speak yoruba now every yoruba person hears immediately and they respond if i say praise the lord in yoruba will you answer in english you will answer in yoruba because i spoke your language if i say praise the lord in hausa all who understand hausa will answer back if i say praise the lord in Igbo or whatever language i use that's how excellence is excellence is a language in other words whoever understands me you are invited so if you do not come to the seat of excellence it's a sign you did not hear the language and you are not invited two excellent people can come into your life and reward you the equivalent of 1000 people excellence is powerful you must be accurate you must be serious with whatever you are doing you are a tailor be excellent you are a hairdresser be excellent you are a preacher, be excellent. Excellence requires thoroughness. Excellence requires exposure. Excellence requires having a reference. Excellence requires consistent development. Consistent development. Outsmarting your own records. Surpassing ordinary standards. That's excellence. 
anything not done excellently is not worth being seriously rewarded are we together you make yam an egg sauce but the plate is not excellent is not washed dirty plate dirty spoon you are not serious it's a sign you don't believe in your business i shouldn't come there are we together you are by that atmosphere attracting certain kinds of people the day you change your plate you are serious when people come into your restaurant you greet them you smile you're welcome sir please be seated how may we help you oh i need so 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 and so do you have cold water oh we don't have cold water here sir but we can get it for you wow he calls his colleagues because experience markets i just found a restaurant when i came here they are so cautious they are nice they are wonderful people i shouted at them and truly i later realized that i was wrong yet they apologized are we together i finished eating and i was happy you are a cab driver people enter your car you don't just frown where are you going i'm going to sabo oh yeah let's go when you reach you just pack your yeah oh, that come down my money you will attract certain kinds of people but one day one rich man would disguise himself and sit down in your cab and you greet him hello sir thank you so much my joy to pick you where exactly are you going to sir? Sir, oh really you have something doing there sir thank you before you know it he looks at you how much is it 300 naira can you give me a discount well sir honestly i would love to but it may not be possible i sincerely apologize let's leave it at 300 not lie lie 300 i've been walking in the morning that's a terrible person are you learning the law of excellence yes there's no need you can be nice loving yet firm it's 300 and then you drop the person um sir would you want my contact details i'm always available for you my advantage is that i live within zaria i don't have to come from Sabo. if you need me i'll be ready to help you before you know it that driver attracts three or four or five people now everybody is driving but one is doing it excellently your car is neat you don't come and your car is smelling around doing all kinds of things you're driving someone he stops later on the road say oga how will we do now there are too many people who are not excellent they do regular things and they want extraordinary rewards listen stop excellence is doing ordinary things in an extraordinary way are we together i'm just recapping on these laws very important you must be excellent you are a hairstylist keep your saloon clean you are a tailor you don't have to show us you are a tailor by pieces of fabrics all around you can organize your place are we together organize your place you can't buy an ac buy a fan get a television let people come and be watching something you must be excellent you must be competent say i receive grace to be competent if you're frying akara on the road you can make your akara the best in samaru the best in zaria find out what can i add to this akara that will make it very nice maybe the packaging someone comes to take pap why don't you say okay let me get a little trampoline just at the corner here what if he's a, a respected personality wants to come and take akara and pap does he have to sit down under smoke i said that's how we do it here sorry the cups are full people are drinking the pap and he's sitting down he's hungry and doesn't have all that time but he has to wait for somebody to finish taking his pap then you quickly rinse it and pour his own no no that is a dirty environment a dirty lifestyle and a life of mediocrity why don't you get different kinds of cops you have brains discern people somebody comes looking as a smart gentleman then you can start doing certain things make some cups factor your cost into it get a little if you if you want take away you package it well don't just quiz a newspaper a wire paper or a, a jam paper i don't know who wrote what there there is ink you are putting hot akara on blue ink are we together now no 
why don't you use what's the name of this paper ladies foil paper right why don't you change if you still must use that your own akara you put it first in a foil paper and wrap it factor your cost into it everybody say excellence get a clean table clean table put everything you're welcome sit down sir and then you'll be surprised one day somebody will tell you i have a little get together and we just decided we are rich people so it's not like we're looking for what to eat but we just want to eat akara and pap and you are the one who will make it and you'll be saying i used to sell it 10 10 naira. i said no no no, we don't do that we're giving you fifty thousand. whatever you can make just make and bring not everybody is threatened by price there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality don't ever be deceived that everybody is asking how much no there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality they are interested in an experience not price law number what's what's the fourth law law of what very powerful law that you must never forget as it is in your mind so it will be in your life realities are first shaped in your mind before shaped in your life you don't become neat physically first no neatness starts in your mind if you are dirty in your mind and you are neat physically in three days your environment will change to look like what your mind is do not try to correct things first from the physical correct it from the mind are we together yes if you are lazy don't just try to prompt yourself change it from the mind everything that is wrong with your physical environment came from your mind environmental conditioning genetic conditioning you have to change your mind that's why the bible says to renew our mind by the word of god i've seen people who you try to adjust their lives and temporarily they adjust but like a rubber ring you must return back to your default position you don't believe in honor because you don't know it it is not a mindset somebody whips you and says are you not going to greet him i say good afternoon sir and then in five minutes you are back to your default position of being rude and lousy it is terrible to try to fake physically something that is not a reality in your mind you will betray yourself eventually so the key to lasting change is to first create that correction from your mindset and then naturally it will flow if you are a a dishonorable person the key is to first change your mindset are we together if you are a loud person change your mindset the law of the mind is powerful many people have changed their lives because they changed their mindset some of you before you came for koinonia you insulted men of God and insulted everyone. You joined your parents, you joined your loved ones, you joined other men of God to tear down other people. But as you came, the word of God did something to your thinking. Is that true? There was an adjustment and you made up your mind that I will love all men. I leave judgment to God. Now, you don't try to not insult people. You are free already. There are some of you like we spoke about excellence some of you were not excellent at all but when you came just by observation you felt Kai, i have to be this i should iron my clothes I, i'm used to wearing clothes that i don't iron i don't care whether it's ironed or not but now i realize it's not the price of the clothes is who wears it so i iron my clothes even if it is 200 naira i don't allow my socks to be smelling around and then i now wear it no mindset the most helpless person on earth is one who is resistant to mental transformation anybody who is resistant to mental transformation there's nothing you can do with that person the law of the mind that's law number what law number five the law of faith I'll teach you two laws now very quickly and then we'll pray the law of faith we're teaching success systems the fifth law is the law of faith say after me the law of faith f-a-i-t-h the law of faith the law of faith if you will ever succeed in life you will need to use your faith what is faith 
faith is the action you take based on the conviction you have about god and his word faith is the action you take the name given to the action not just the belief the action that is taken based on conviction obedient action based on conviction and the word of god being the source of that conviction that's called faith so when i take action based on the understanding of the word of god i have my heart is full of conviction and it comp it compels my life to respond accordingly i am walking in faith faith is conviction plus obedience faith is conviction plus obedience faith is not obedience there must be an instruction before obedience faith is not just conviction that's called belief that you believe a thing does not mean you have faith faith is belief plus obedience conviction plus obedience many people claim they have faith they only believe the word of god are we together numbers chapter 23 verse 19 nobody will give you a guarantee for success you will have to use your faith nobody will give you a guarantee for success read it everybody is projected one to read god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent had he said and shall he not do it or had he spoken and shall he not make it good in other words when god speaks it is within his power to make it come to pass say god has the ability to make his word come to pass say it one more time god has the ability to make his word come to pass write the following things down number one you will have to take risks to succeed you will have to take risks to succeed in 2010 during our kingdom wealth summit i taught in the business session that faith in the realm of success and especially in business and all of that is spelled r i s k that's the spelling of faith we live in a world of people who are so risk averse so fearful they will never do anything christians are some of the most fearful people in terms of taking action it's one thing to wait upon the lord and to wait for seasons but it's another thing for you to know that this is a season and you close your eyes and take a step of faith brothers and sisters if you must meet jesus you must walk on that water if it be thou bid me come and he said come there are too many people who will not take action you will not start that business because you are afraid i watch somebody lose i don't want to lose money i don't want to lose my shop i don't want to do this what if the birds die africa is full of what ifs and we never take action stand up and do something what if i apply and i don't get the job it will be that i wasted money it would take five thousand for me to go and submit my cv in lagos it will take another five thousand for me to return maybe i will need to book a hotel ten thousand and stay two days if i spend thirty thousand just to submit my cv what if i don't get the job there is no guarantee there is no uncle there we live in an age of fearful people risk averse people every champion every world changer listen to me is a person of risk abraham take your son it's a risk the law of faith a time must come in your success equation where you have to close your eyes and like esther say if i perish i perish failure is not the end of life don't fear failure when you fear failure you program it to happen in your life great people are not those without failures listen carefully great people are those who have learned how to rise even when they fall the brand seven up for years i didn't know why it was called seven up until i began to study brands and i found out that it was called seven up because the person tried six times 
six times and failed it was the seventh time that he succeeded that's why he called it seven up so six down and then seven up you drink it and you are happy but you are drinking somebody's success after failure what if he stopped the sixth time what if he stopped the sixth time like many of you have stopped most christians think because god said to do something means that you will succeed automatically you will still go through the law of process and many times it will require failure why failure because you have to learn why failure because you have to build mastery why failure because you have to understand how things work the body of christ thinks prophecy is just an escape route from going through the law of process make no mistakes when you see people rise they have made mistakes that you did a business and failed does not mean god did not speak to you and believers will be the first to tell you sam i warned you don't open a shop i told you there's no money in zaria you claim that god told you you opened a shop after one week and robbers came and waylaid you and by it they will say i saw a vision it's just that i didn't know how to tell you and based on that vision you close the shop and remain broke that's why many christians are poor broke and mediocre you sit down wishing i will do something one day until somebody just gets up and does it there is a vacancy i don't know anybody oh should i apply should i not apply and you are sitting there and you watch somebody with less qualifications than you go and submit the cv listen the world only honors men of action not just men of wish men of action after all the planning and everything you must take action you must take action i want to start the school forever you have not done anything apostle god called me to be a millionaire ceo you said this thing in the year 2000 you've not registered one company millions have passed through your hands you've not done anything i will do this i will do that the world is full of people at 84 they tell you when i was 20 years i wanted to do this and for 64 years they couldn't do anything the fearful and the cowardly never become great write it down the law of faith the fearful and the cowardly never become great there are people today i will learn how to drive in the name of jesus you started two weeks one one truck just passed near you and you said it's not by force the first time you you went to a driving lesson you were 19 now you are almost 40 you can't take a car by the road why not because there are no cars <laughs> i don't want to die but somebody needs to carry you from one place to the other yet you see some of these house boys have you seen them during salah nine years old on bike they don't think of failure all of them they learn how to ride bike in two hours they learn how to drive their buses within two days they are august pack it for them in pz and then while they are gisting the boys are the ones who keep pushing it and that's how they learn in two weeks they have learned you see somebody who cannot drive anything driving to mina and you see risks that should kill him listen brothers and sisters fear runs away from courageous people fear itself as a spirit is afraid of certain people the cowardly in life never become anything one guy called me one time and he said apostle um we were going to i, I think it's a crusade or so somewhere and he said apostle sorry is it possible for us to call you if we are stranded i said no I didn't send you go there and go to that field and experience what it means to have supernatural testimonies go and stand there there are coppers the moment they post them you are here they post them to buy else I don't know anybody you say everybody please call on Kudis call auntie that how old are you 30 ah. because of inaction many of our parents the day they were leaving the village the only thing they left with was a blessing they returned back home after 20 years successful their parents just told them talk don't pursue women don't drink beer love god be serious we bless you bye bye 
when they came into the city they knew nobody but their God and they started listen let me teach you something never over pamper people give them an opportunity to take action especially for those of us who are rich love your children love everybody but don't over pamper people you must give people room to take action it is God that protects most of us that's why we have weak men today we have men who are like women you know why there is too much over pampering a young boy tells you he wants to write wayek and you tell him sit down and come up with an idea how much is the form seven thousand okay think of something you can do to raise two thousand and he comes out after three hours playing computer games and he said i could not think of anything are there no grasses in people's houses to weed are we together that's why we raise a lot of irresponsible people what's wrong with meeting someone and say sir i am a young boy who is trying to um, I want to move forward. My parents do not have the opportunity to help me. Please, sir, can you allow me weed your grass? My budget is 6,000. I don't know how much this will be, but I can weed your grass. I can call my friends. And you look at a young man walking his way to greatness. And you can say, go ahead and weed it. And instead of giving him 1,000 or 2,000, you can give him 3,000 and your number. You have helped that boy. Are we together? There are many people who do not want to take action. There are many men today who lost their job since year 2000. Till today, they have been given all kinds of flimsy excuses. That's why we love prophecy. Because we think prophecy is an excuse for responsibility. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive grace tonight to take action. Give us Job 3.25. Never fear failure. Write it down never fear failure never fear failure for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which i was afraid of is come unto me this is job speaking never fear failure when you fear failure you create the you activate the law of expectation failure don't be afraid of stepping into the unknown be guided, yes, but know that no matter how people love you, you will have to take that action. God is speaking to someone here. Your excuses are over. You are getting older and older and you are not getting established. Why? Because I am, I don't, they, my uncle promised me when I was in 200 level. Now your uncle is dead. Stop crying. Thank God for your, your father said he would not help you. You must sit down and tell yourself, I'm not going to beg again. I sit down and I will do something. Let me tell you, heaven will back those who will take action and be serious. You are waiting for marriage to bail you out. You are a lazy person. You are a very, very lazy person. There are many men who are looking for wives. I don't have a problem with our ladies, honestly, in terms of responsibility. My challenge, especially over action, is for brothers. There are some of you looking at me right now. You are growing older, but your sense of responsibility is still at a zero level. No action. If at age 30, you are still calling home. Mom C, will you send me something? Pop C, will you send me something? Listen to me very carefully. You are on your way to being an irresponsible husband irresponsible father you don't become responsible just because a ring entered your hand you must be a father first before you have children it is not children that make you a father it's from the word Abba the consciousness to be a provider are we together you are a man here and you are not catering for your family they may not have the courage to tell you but I'm telling you now you are failing God in that family are we together I wish I had the opportunity to reach some of our loved ones. Let me tell them. It's a shame when a daughter, a son, turns to their father and says, Father, it's, it's time. I, I need to buy a shirt. And the man says, what will I do? Sir, I'm, a, I'm in final year. I need money for my project. Should I kill myself? I tell you the truth. That is irresponsibility to the core. What should that person do? You are simply saying, go and be a prostitute. I don't care. Action. Today we are here by the grace of God because of action. After you plan, you must act. 
when you fail you stand up re-strategize and move forward let them laugh at you the ones who are laughing at you have not taken action that's why you see let me tell you anybody they are not talking about is because he's not doing anything it's not because they like you it's because you have not done anything yet the law of faith Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 8 please give it to us every great man will tell you that he pursued the unknown every great man will tell you he took steps when there was no guarantee it is usually when we see the results that we think the people had any guarantee the Bible says ask and it shall be given to you it says seek and seek although you have not found it seek it listen when I started doing something about my finances I didn't know how to move from point A to point B I started the journey to success understanding it in 2004 until then it was just gambling understanding but i made up my mind 2004 i said i would learn these systems i didn't know anything no opportunity for mentorship almost everybody around me was not really making it and i said no i have to learn i remember getting dr miles monroe's books and i started from there i didn't know but i began to seek listen let me tell you do not think knowledge will come and meet you and spoon feed you pursuit is the proof of passion you must be passionate enough to pursue it i watch people right now i don't know how many times seeking for uncommon mentors in the rain in the sun and little discomfort and he says, sorry uh, the way my hair is eh? every time i'm listening once there's heat it destroys you are not and i let the ladies do it that's all right god created that, that way. but you as a man I have headaches so i won't listen to the message <laughs> that means that panadol is far from you because the grace and the resources to buy it will come through what enters your ears brother say in the name of jesus i did shout it in the name of jesus from this night i declare that the days of wishing are over I take action now go and start that business go and submit your CV don't sit down tell yourself by September I should be working that's faith by September I should be working and see whether the God of all flesh will not make it happen Lord I have failed but I'm starting again I, I see the mistakes I made I don't have any capital now but Lord I trust in you If you fall and remain there then you have really failed but if you fall and you still stand up you have not failed are we together everybody say courage shout it courage there is nobody I have watched people in this ministry rise up with no guarantee of anything and today God has honored them you must be courageous Joshua was now going to be a leader over several people several people God did not tell him Joshua make sure you eat well oh, so that you don't collapse he said be strong and of good courage they will act like fools but be strong you are a leader there is an anointing upon you you watch what we do today by the grace of God and think one uncle just gave money or somebody said i will give you venue or somebody said no nobody gives you any guarantee stop insulting your uncles your aunties your brothers and sisters and say nobody is supporting me let your faith support you let your faith support you are you hearing what i'm saying let your faith support you you had a dream and you saw yourself submitting a CV in Ibadan. Apostle, but I've never gone there. I'd like you to prepare and trust God for grace. Share the idea with two or three people. Carry your CV and go to the park in the night. You are in Kaduna Park. Where are you going? In Ibadan. And see whether God, tear your Bible if you go to Ibadan and God does not back you there. He's waiting for you in Ibadan. He's not waiting for you at the place of disobedience. As soon as you get to Ibadan, in the 
in the luxurious that you enter you will now meet somebody where are you going says so like i know you somewhere ah your sister's graduation i was a classmate really where are you staying the miracle starts the bible says this sign shall follow if you don't take steps you will not see signs apostle when will i enter i mean i need the healing anointing must you die before you know you fell under the anointing you let sick people pass you somebody says i have cancer and you just say ah i remember this cancer is can can be transferred you see that attitude of unbelief you will never walk in power what do you think a miracle service is a show nobody starts with mastery you see how children walk they start and then they start crawling do you stop them from crawling sometimes in a bid to hold the table they hit their head does that mean walking is not possible how the child hits the head you you rub it what do you tell the child sorry sorry means sorry for now continue move again you love that child but you cannot walk for the child the person who stops that child from walking is stopping him from becoming an adult are we together I wrote jam five times I didn't get it I will give up are you joking no look at jam and say jam as for me and you one of us will give up one of us will give up I will walk you and weary you where will the money come from don't worry don't worry God is alert and active watching over his word to perform it are you hearing what I'm saying Oh, apostle I'm of age and I need to move from my parents house now to get a place but uncle did not send the money keep quiet one day you get up and go and buy a bag with the 2,000 you have pack your clothes and say daddy just like you advised me I'm on my way going I got one one room somewhere and I'm going say that one room nothing there's no carpet you say sir if I don't leave I will not become a man like you if I don't leave I will come for as long as I come back and I can go to the kitchen who had part of my yam you are still a child you need to push yourself and you stand up and while you are moving God is saying watch this the angels are backing you do not know all of a sudden the moment you get there some brothers from your fellowship will come and God will speak to somebody buy him a rock the first time you are experiencing miracles by yourself not in partnership with another person's faith your faith is growing and you begin to see that God is faithful for yourself uh, apostle I think I need a job before I move out of my father's house how was your father when he moved out of his own father's house very fearful people very fearful people I teach responsibility but you must conquer fear you get out and you stay in that room it's raining and water is dropping on you from that one room and you are just imagining the AC that is in your own house exactly that's what made Moses a savior pushed him out and as that rain is dropping it drops and does something to your brain and you say no more I can't live like this I'm seeing the reality of irresponsibility glaring before me. The very next day, you will sell two clothes and buy one book. You are making progress. And sit down. You go and get financial dominion part one, two, three. And sit down. Next time you hear people are fasting, you don't say they are just... See, do you know why many of us don't take action? We have been reaping the harvest of many people's seeds. You think it's your faith that is working. The proof that your faith is working or not, leave all the support and stand alone. Then you will know whether you really have faith. Are we together? There are people who don't know how to trust God. There's this song in my heart. My trust is in you. You know the song? Sam, help me. Just that one song, one minute. I want you to sing that song because I believe God is speaking to somebody. You know the song I'm talking about? Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. Yeah. 
yes, yeah. I'm talking specifically to the brothers. Sisters, you, you are coming, but let me speak to the brothers. If you are jobless here, jobless does not mean civil service. Jobless means stream of income. You are not doing anything and you are not serious. I want you to know that God is talking to you tonight. Take action. Brothers, shout, I take action. Say it again. Someone has got to push you. And some of our parents love us too much to push us. Oh, I'm a graduate. Go and open a barbing saloon. The money you have can buy three clippers. I open it in the name of Jesus. Package a little seed and come and drop it in corn. Not for me. It's a principle. You know it. Go and open the barbing saloon. Are we together? Yes. There are many lazy people moving around. You may not be a millionaire, but from that little God will honor you. Tell yourself, I cannot wait until the day somebody tips me. Everybody that passes you, you are waiting and hoping they drop something. When will you start blessing others? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Can three people come and take action and say there is no ice cream making machine in Zaria? Three of us, let's come together. How much do you have? 500,000. How much do you have? 200,000. How much do you have? 100,000. Let's have an agreement. Let's get one of these shops and make one of the top ice cream machine machines around. You make it the first 20 people free. You launch it. Come and collect a bottle of oil here. Shekata. I will pray on it with all my heart. You drop it on that shop, it will be like jam. Hold on, don't shout. You have never done it. How many times have I spoken about it here? Listen, listen. Action takers are the ones who move forward. You graduated 10 years ago. You submitted your CV twice. And it's because they told you. Who do you want to spoon feed you with a job? Stand up and take action. Fail honorably and come. I will hug you. I will pray for you. And you will go back. You are learning how to walk. You are learning how to walk. Everybody say, I will rise again. I'm speaking to people who tried rising. And then you went down. And Christians are usually the ones who say, take it easy. Oh, take it easy. Yeah. This, this decoration, how many people get married in Zaria? You just went to go and spend 200,000 to go and buy all the, look at the, how many ribbons. You know, you even say you want to do canopy. You better don't destroy yourself. And all of a sudden, you see somebody will come. And just when he's opening the canopy, that's when God is bringing explosion to another church. And they'll say you are the one who is supplying this. Look at those who supply canopies. Imagine if those who supply these canopies now are here in Koinonia every week even if you don't do any other business again yet you are sitting down buying fake things fake whatever to prove levels that you have not gotten to challenge yourself the law of faith you must take action i have taken bold steps in my life bold steps in my life the word trust in the lord proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 is from the word bata. It means throw yourself like you pick one of these are little ones. You see how these my children come to greet me after service. Some of them just run and just fly and expect that I hold them. If I don't hold them, it's still me that will pay for it. Correct? A child runs to the father. You gave birth to me, I didn't ask you. I fly. Pick me. That's what you do to God. When you take action, you put pressure on God's integrity. Lord, you said this. You said it is, it is, it is, um, what, what, any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel. I'm a married man with three children. Lord, I am tired of allowing, waiting for my wife to come back with 20,000. And that's what we're all feeding from. These children cannot go to school. Lord, I receive grace to take action. I will go and seek advice. I will go and receive prayer. I will receive an impartation, but I will take action. The anointing can come upon you. But you must take action for it to work. When did you ever lay hands on somebody to be healed? Oh, let me run to prayer department. Benga. Or let me run to promise. Or oh, anybody. Let me run to any of the people. Oh, let me run to this. I think I'm hungry. Let me run to the welfare mama. Please, ma. You too, you know the way Nigeria is. That if you, if you don't 
challenge yourself you will never rise you need to take action take action take action tell yourself no i'm going to be responsible lord i trust you lord i believe you there are many of us who have never sown a seed do you know why because of fear never sown it god cannot even tell you to empty your account yeah, 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 yeah. you will bind bind and cast and curse and say let this voice never speak to me again that's why you can never rise I'll never forget a time the Lord gave me an instruction to sew everything over 80% of all my clothes aside from what I did in Port Harcourt and I just carried those things when I sewed them it was as if I would die now I live if God tells me to empty my account and empty my life and everything I would do it gladly because I know him I know him not because I like it not because it's convenient when you know God then you'll be able to take certain steps are we together? Yes. Listen. The workers in this ministry start dressing, arranging chairs and canopies way before people come. Did anybody sign an agreement that by evening all the overflows will be full? It takes faith. We believe what God has said. We believe that we are adding value. And so in the morning, people start preparing. Imagine that you wait until people come. Then you now say, oh, there are plenty of people today. Oh yeah, let's go. Do you know that every space you give God is what he feels? You have not taken action. That's why. Your shop is still small and you are there. God has been prompting your spirit. Move to a bigger one and you say, Ah, God, don't mock me. So you will never see the miracle. The law of faith. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. God is speaking to someone tonight. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15 ah this thing I've shared it has fired my spirit and so everybody read talking about Abraham read on and so after he had patiently endured did what lion of Judah my trust is in you over my destiny, my trust is in you. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Sing that song with understanding. Put them on you. Sing, my trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. Trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. My trust is in you. I say, I put them on you. My trust, my trust is in you. It takes faith to begin to prepare for five children when you are not yet in a relationship. I'm preparing. Oh, I don't want to waste my time. Who will come and marry me? Let the guy come first. When he comes and I'm sure the day he ever says, I will go and see your parents, I will read like never before. You will never marry that way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, five children are going to come out from this womb. You take a step of faith. You have not entered any relationship. Who knows me? Look at that foolish question. What do you mean who knows me? God? The God you serve? You lay your hands, shape, bracket. You are bringing five children from this womb and they will all be a blessing. No giving birth to armed robbers. No giving birth to terrorists. I will not give birth to a son who will kill me because of trouble. You are preparing. You go and buy a book in advance. The power of a praying wife. You go and buy a book. God tells you you marry a man of God. You don't wait until a preacher comes. He may marry you as a civil servant and after five years God calls him into ministry. God didn't lie but you didn't prepare. God told you you are going to be a millionaire and you are waiting and say, God, when you said I'm going to be a millionaire, my palm sanders, everything I have home and abroad is 10,000. I can sell all my clothes for 20,000. That's foolish thinking. You go and buy a book. Lord, you have called me into kingdom financing. You told me I'm going to mentor and raise a generation and bless people. You do it. You put pictures around. Put a picture on your laptop that represents your future. And every time you see it, you prophesy. 
I may be small now but in the name of the Lord Jesus I have no father I have no support but I'm coming I'm coming I trust the name of the Lord I may be weak I may not be able to explain to people I'm doing something they may even say you are lazy what are you always doing in a room why are you always sitting down when you say I'm building my mind they say what is mine are we going to eat mine just continue the day God honors you then you will stand and sing this song that we are singing tonight I believe that there is an anointing on this song this night that people have to trust God take action trust God it takes faith to be great it takes faith to have a healing ministry nobody gives you a guarantee that anybody will be healed it takes faith to be a man of God it takes faith to be a businessman it takes faith to be a wife and a mother you are not allowed to have a child ordinarily before marriage so how do you know you are fruitful it takes faith lion of Judah my trust is in me the ancient of days my trust is in you oh I am that I am my trust is in you There are people who will never fill the house in their lives. Many of our fathers, their salaries were 150. Now they are retired. There is no house. You know why? Because of fear. I will build it one day. I don't have enough money. Then God granted you grace. They created one scheme in your job and gave everybody land. Four plots of land is more than enough to build a family house. Mostly, their wives will tell them, honey, build, build time is going this how much is the money there's one money i'm expecting it will come tomorrow god said you have hundred thousand it can bring one tip of sand go and bring it and pour it on the side that's faith you are saying lord i'm starting this out the hand of zerubbabel that started when you start god begins to move people i remember the first day we bought equipment i remember one by one one by one I remember when I started buying, you know, not even just for ministry, for myself. To think and say one day I'll get a laptop is a joke. A laptop? Who gives you the money? See, hear me. This God is a good God. Worship team told us already. This God is a faithful God. But while you are waiting for him, I don't know who I'm speaking to this night. God is saying, I'm tired of waiting for you. Take a step. 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 Who told you the business will fail? Take a step. Are we together? Take a step. Ah, I have one million naira now. I'm thinking of starting small poultry. I'm thinking of getting a little golf. But I hear that this cars used to spoil a bee and that your profit doesn't come out. So you will remain there until the day somebody comes. Usually, those kind of people will sit down and then something will happen. You will carry 100,000 from it. Something will happen. They will invite you for one event that doesn't have head and tail. And they will massage your ego. And you will know when you carry 300,000. On behalf of me and my wife, I donate this money. And the money has finished. And you will never be successful. Success systems. The law of faith. Every great man walks on water. Every great man walks on water. It is your faith that turns that water to concrete. We are going to sing this song one more time. And then I will go to the next law. But I want you to sing it with understanding. I have trusted men, they have failed me. I have trusted systems. I trusted my certificate, it failed me. Lord, I lift my eyes and I trust in you. You are the one who can wipe my tears. My uncle promised me and disappointed me. Many have concluded that because I finished with the past, there is no greatness. That's what the devil wants to do all the time to make you not trust God. But I'm challenging men of faith. Liar of Judah. My trust is in you.
Psalm 89 verse 17, the law of favor. Lord, I pray that somebody will get this. In the name of Jesus, I pray that somebody will get this. Psalms 89 verse 17. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor shall our horn be exalted. Favor. Is the number one reason people succeed favor is the number one reason the number one reason why you will succeed is favor you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams it is impossible to get to the place of destiny without favor no sir you've heard people say that one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor it is hardly an exaggeration one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor Many people do not have favor in their lives. Why? Because they are not taught what favor is and how to release favor in their lives. Those who are even taught favor are only taught one side of favor. And it's like whenever you say favor, we leave it unto God. God just favor us now. No. There is an exact equation that leads to favor. Favor is not a miracle. Write it down. Favor is a reaction. Favor is not a miracle. Favor is a reaction. You can program favor in your life. A reaction means that it is a response. Favor is a reaction. It's not a miracle. Favor miracles can happen and do happen. But favor is not a miracle. What is favor? Let's define favor. Favor is when someone is willing to invest their life, their time, their resources, their credibility to help you achieve your goals. That's favor. When somebody is willing to participate in your success, it's called favor. When someone is willing to invest their life, invest their credibility, invest their money invest their knowledge into you to help you achieve your goals it's called favor favor is not just unmerited access that's a very limited thinking limited teaching limited definition and is the reason why let me tell you whether it is merited or unmerited favor is access calling it unmerited alone is very limited favor can be merited favor can be merited your obedience and understanding the bible says good understanding secures favor favor can be merited what is favor someone willing to sacrifice their resources to help you succeed All success are related to favor. All success. Whether all kinds of success, financial success, ministry success, 
business success marital success they are directly related to favor all success testimonies you want to write all success testimonies are related to favor i have heard so many success testimonies there is not one of them that is not related to favor there is a gap in that testimony all success testimonies are related to favor are you learning something write this down who likes you matters in your success who likes you matters in your success brothers and sisters one man called Ahasuerus hated one one woman and her entire life crumbled just because one person of influence hated her are we together the same man who hated one woman and destroyed her entire life turned and loved Esther and her life changed overnight from a village girl to a queen who likes you matters now many Christians think it doesn't matter I don't care who likes me or who doesn't like me if you are speaking in terms of dependence on God I understand that context but in terms of channels to release favor is a joke who likes you matters there are people listening to me from Joss we came back from Joss and um, while I went to minister in Joss you know part of the system of honor for me there was a little girl lovely lady and that they gave this thing they put on the neck and flower you know just to greet me and as soon as I got into the hotel there were people lined up and the little girl was standing and then you know would come you know recite I didn't even know what she was saying you know you are welcome to so and so and so and then put that thing and then gave me and I looked at the lady and I fell in love with that dear girl instantly and I told her I said do you know what you are my friend when I came on stage I made sure that they looked for her 10 years old and she stood because I liked her not because I know her I just liked her the next day I said they should bring her to the hotel we would drive together it was together I was gisting with her and I looked at the lady and I said I want to do something for you I want to do something for your family please bring your mother I want to see her now the rest is history but that little girl's life changed in two days simply because somebody liked her do not let anyone lie to you that who likes you does not matter i don't mean who wants to sleep with you who likes you likes you like from heaven likes you to change your life let me tell you the truth listen 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 take what i'm saying very seriously don't just laugh listen who hates you also matters when your boss hates you you will know that it matters because your life will be miserable you may be tongue talking but your boss hates you ah do you know this lady has been serving actively it's time to promote her I, I just hate her please another time and that another time is after three years but there's somebody they can like you as ah, has this person not been in this office for up to two years they say, yes sir. i thought it's three three years I, say, I changed the policy somebody like daniel and could not sleep in the night because some people manipulate a king stop sleep because he liked Daniel early in the morning he got up by himself oh Daniel has your God been able to deliver you Daniel said I'm alive he said bring all those people Daniel didn't say please can you help me punish these people the king said me bring them throw them kill all of them somebody because he likes you can fight your enemies for you enemies you don't have capacity to fight somebody can like you and put himself inside your situation what is going on here sir they want to collect our land our father is dead we are only two say no way i'm a lawyer come and meet me in my office i'm a lawyer i'm a senior advocate what did the person say because of that we will charge him to court he will not only return the land he will give you part of the money for the foundation i know what to do let's go and you are seated somewhere and you see people building a house you know nothing about because somebody liked you who likes you can change your life write this down one person can open a hundred doors of opportunities for you one person one man one person in your life showing you favor can open a hundred doors of opportunities
First Samuel 16 verse 22. Please give it to us quickly. First Samuel 16 verse 22. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Saul sent to Jesse saying, let David, I pray thee, stand before me. Why? For he had found favor in my sight. Go and tell that boy's father, bring me that smelly boy, regardless of what it is. Let me tell you, when you find favor before a man, regardless of what your limitations are, they are ignored to bless you. You are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life. Now, this is coming as a shock to many of us. Write it down. We're getting deeper now. You are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life. If one day God will bless me, it's a joke. You are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life. The Bible tells us in 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 26 that Samuel grew in favor with God and with men. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 26. 226 and the child Samuel grew on and was in favor both with what the Lord and also with men listen it is one thing to have favor with God it is an entirely different thing to have favor with men I know so many people who have favor with God but they don't have favor with men Luke chapter 2 verse 52 same thing was said about Jesus Luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with men. A man can increase in favor with God and favor with men. The number one reason for the hardship in people's lives is lack of favor. Lack of favor. I have seen gifted people who don't have favor. I have seen blessed people in terms of abilities i have seen gifted architects no door of favor gifted engineers gifted doctors gifted students no favor i have seen gifted men have you seen men who are gifted they do work for you and you are like my god and you are at this level i know people who know everybody known yet there's no favor in their life you know that they know senate president they know one, the chairman of their local government. The governor's friend is their father's friend. And they, have, they will show you the numbers of people. If I show you, look at, this is Saraki's number. This is Dogara's number. In fact, do you know that when I was staying in Lagos, there was a day that Osimba Joe came to our house. I know him, oh, and there's no favor. They watch everybody on TV. Ah, that's Ambassador ABC. You remember him now, 1971. No favor. No favor. To be gifted is not enough. You need favor. You need men to partner with your life. This ministry by the grace of God is rising. Not just in terms of finances. Because of favor. Favor. My life today is, is a humbling testimony of God's favor. Psalms 102 verse 13. Psalms 102 verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman. Why? For the time to favor him. Yea, the set time. There is a set time for favor. And everyone prophesy to yourself, say, this is my set time. Say it again, this is my set time. Turn it into a prayer in one minute. Lord, this is my set time. When promise came here, he said, pray. Tired of hardship. Hardship is different from poverty. A hard life. A life unassisted by men. A life unassisted by helpers. is a sign of lack of favor. You can have money and not have favor. When you pay for everything by yourself, you don't have favor. 
Now is the time, oh God, that you arise. The set time. The set time. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that from this night, favor will begin to follow you? Yes. I don't share my testimonies. Do you know why? Because many people misunderstand my testimonies. When I share testimonies, most people, not you, but maybe most people will think it is, um, it is pride. You are boasting. What does he think he is? If I share with you testimonies of these ministries, what does he think he is? But sometimes it's good to encourage people. Testimonies are ways that let people know God is at work. But because we live in a cynical world, every time you speak, people think you are bragging. Listen, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, God is my witness. And ask everybody who is close to me. I only fund less than 20% of my life ex expenditure. Everything, almost everything in my life is paid for by men. Everything. Everything. Now, you can have the money to pay for it by yourself. We are not the same. You are not assisted. Are we together? Most people think having money is all there is to favor. No. The ability to have men stand up and say, promise, I am determined to make you succeed. If you don't believe that thing, there's no need for a comment for Koinonia this night. I looked at certain things in the body of Christ and I looked at certain men. I looked at certain ministries and I saw tears some testimonies of favor. Their life revolved as they wanted. It was as if there was a charm. Anyone who saw them, blessed them. One of the greatest people, let me tell you, I am convinced I received the impartation of favor directly from Dr. Mike Modok. I knew when it came upon my life. You know why? He's a man that is greatly criticized in the body of Christ because of seed, seed, seed and all of that. I may not necessarily believe everything, but I saw uncommon favor. Uncommon, a favor like a charm. And while others were grumbling, I said, Lord, this man is an apostle of wisdom. He is the gift of God to the body. He represents the spiritual system that controls wisdom. And the Bible says, with me, wisdom now, are riches, wealth, and honor, durable riches and righteousness. He said, by me, kings reign and princes decree justice. And I said, Lord, this thing must happen in my life. At that time, you don't ever see somebody say, God said I should do this. God said, I used to think those things were just stories. You know, when I think about my life today, I almost want to shed tears. You know why? Because I am a product. I am, if you are ever looking for a man who answers that name, Ebenezer, that a man that God has helped, God lifted your hands. That's why when I worship God, I, 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 I do it. I live a very happy and a very peaceful life because I found the key to God's favor. There is no time in my life when I lack men to rise and assist and defend. This ministry, you see, we are not just fearfully blessed just because of tithes and offerings. The ministry of men strange dimensions of favor that I begin to share with you many of you will be afraid how do they get money we are not herbalists favor when you access these laws it will change you overnight are we together I'm wetting your appetite and then I'm going to teach you quickly while I begin to teach them just bring the vessels and then we'll pour the oil because what is coming upon you tonight is the grace for favor. I want you to believe it. There is such an impartation upon a man for favor.
Father, please let your people believe you. Please, please let your people believe you. If you don't believe this, you will pay for it. I promise you. There are times for months, months, I never go to the ATM. I even forget that I have an ATM. There is no 24 hours, no 24 hours that somebody does not bless me. No 24 hours. I can give you my phone now and you can check from when I sat down till now. Alerts upon alerts, how they got my account number, I don't know brothers and sisters there are properties that have been given to me today i don't know where it is i've not gone there to see it do you believe in favor i shared with you last year about the gold mine 18.7 hectares of a gold mine given for nothing three kings came together and said we must make sure he has it it is not by might it is not by power are we together there are tailors that sew my clothes aside from one i have never aside from another again two really one a cousin to reverend george adeboe of rema he may even be listening now with his wife every time i travel to lagos to a particular church for meeting there he comes with his wife materials upon materials favor There are bags full of gifts I have not opened since they came. I don't even know what is there. Who told you favor does not work? There are mysterious people who have sent alerts in millions to this ministry. Nobody knows who they are. They didn't even call to say, I am so, 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 and so. What makes you think there is no favor?
almost every day apostle i saw something do you like it there is a woman here i don't know if she's here i wish you were here i would have said she should stand up yesterday after school of ministry i was at the back and a gentleman just came trusting god i think he's here and you know just felt he wanted to sow something and just held some very serious amount dropped it now i see these things all the time and i thank god but it was a woman's testimony that blessed me i saw her with a big bag some of you were a big um, bucket a small bucket and i said madam what is this she came with her son do you know what she said she said man of god i was having a dream and in that dream you said you wanted to eat chinchin and the mother the woman got a bucket full of chinchin and came yesterday it is still it is still i've not even opened it to see what is there chinchin favor favor day and night day and night day and night this is the only way you can succeed and accelerate your life. Any other thing, you will cry and weep and hate people. That's why we cannot give. Because after sweating so much for 50,000, will you really be able to give it? Are we blessed? Testimonies. There is no place and there is no day that I wake up. I wake up every day. May God forgive me if I'm lying. There is no day I don't wake up in the morning with text messages, with recharge cards and bank alerts every day, including today, without fail. This is how I live. Because I found from scripture that he daily loads us with benefits. Sometimes I can be sitting down and see a conga van. You ask the boys that work for me. A conga van, bam, just stops. Somebody has ordered something and paid for it put my address and they are offloading these things and I'm saying God what is this what are you doing to me and God says no you can stop it you can stop it if you want I'm waiting your appetite to activate this key do you really think you can live a joyful life when you sit down you really think your salary is what is going to bless you to be established who lied to you there is a realm of favor. Are we together? I've shared with you the testimony of this ministry. Where a woman, after a program in Lagos, the woman just came, knelt down in front of me and looked at me and said, please, the Lord led her to give us a land and gave us a land in Lekki. It's still there. I've not been there in years to see it. People have called me and said they gave me a land allocated to sell. Man of God, on behalf of our business, we put A, B, C, D portion. This is for you. And I'm saying, God, what is this? They gave us an assignment to develop maybe a 40, 50 estates. You know, houses and all of that. A man of God, just to let you know that we have three or four units as our own commission. And when we are done, one of the units is yours. And I'm saying, what is this? You see why I don't share my testimonies? Because it makes people angry. And when it makes people angry, they hate. Most people sit down and say, preachers carry people's money, tithes and offerings. How much? How much? Access. Access. Are we together now? On, on Tuesday, we're going to Kano tomorrow, and on Tuesday, we're going to Nigerian Immigration Services, their headquarters, where the top leaders of Nigerian immigration across the whole nation. I have been with them for how many years now? I think about four, four years. We go there every year. I talk to them, I counsel them. The top of the top leaders. You don't even enter their office, yet for them it's a privilege. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. That's favor. Listen, listen. I'm not teaching you cunningly devised fables. Favor. Favor is not just money. Men are rising to assist you to succeed. After my meeting in Joss, I had a little session for a school of ministry in Joss. And when I was done, a lady walked up and gave me something and said, Please go and give your mother. I said, Hi, this thing is still working. 
I just met my mother. I said, I met a lady. I don't even know who she is. She said, I should give you. And my mother said, this is what I prayed for. I was telling, I think it was um, a big letter of crayfish. And she said, I should go and give my mother. It is difficult to glorify God when you kill yourself producing the result. There is like Bishop Oyedeko called sweatless triumph. There is such a possibility. If you don't believe it, choose your destiny. But as for me, I have decided that hardship will not age me. I will not sit down and be, I will never come and manipulate you and deceive you. All of you sold to 2,000 naira so that I can have food to eat. Not when there is a God in heaven. How to activate favor? What is the mystery that controls this thing? Favor is not just unmerited access. What is the key? Jesus. The first key to activating favor is sowing the seed of honor. The first key to activating favor in your life is sowing the seed of honor. Write it down. Honor is the first key. Sowing the seed, not receiving a harvest of honor. You must sow the seed for honor. Because honor is the key for access. When you sow seeds of honor, you begin to activate favor. What is honor? The ability to recognize, the ability to celebrate, and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness. That's honor. Not just the ability to appreciate it in your heart. The ability to recognize. The ability to celebrate. And the ability to reward men for their honor. The seed of honor. I don't mean money. A seed called honor. You sow honor into a man's life. There are many people who will never rise in life because of this honor. No favor in their life. They don't know the difference between a great man and a weak man. Everybody is the same to them. All men are equal. And hey, please, I don't do all of this. No. Honor. Many of you don't know why we sow seeds of honor. We transport you after koinonia. Do you know why? It's a seed of honor. We are programming honor upon the ministry. It's not just that we have a lot of money. When our elderly people come, we don't let them join the queue except they want to. They sit down. It's a seed of honor. When I hug our children here, it's a seed of honor. My life is a walking seed of honor. I have mastered sowing seeds of honor. The first key to command unending favor, honor. Honor through conversations. Honor through your body language. Honor through your, vest, your gestures. You see an elderly woman and I greet her. Mama, how are you? That's the seed of honor. Oh, she cannot speak English. No problem, Mama. Don't put yourself under pressure. You don't have to know English. Find an interpreter. Seeds of honor. Are we together now? Yes. I sow seeds of honor everywhere. Once you discern difference, you sow that seed of honor. That you are close to an environment of honor does not mean you will have it. You must sow seeds of honor to parents. The entire hamper that was given to me while I was in Joss, they already know I carried it with the wine and everything and I took it home. As I got home, I just dropped it. When my mother heard I was coming to Joss, she said, what do I want? I said, I'm not sure. I'm, she should not do anything. My mother refused and said she must do something. She made chin chin and made chicken. That's my mother. But she has discerned that this is not only my son. This is a man of God. Seeds of honor. That's why honor keeps coming. Honor is not coming because she's my mother. She's walking these principles. Let me tell you, whoever walks it will receive it. Bad manners. Being rude. Dishonor. You are driving favor from your life. You don't treat people well. You treat everybody like a piece of rag. There are men of God who favor stopped in their life when they rose. Because they have no regard for anybody. They receive honor from others, but they don't give honor. So those lower than them, let me tell you the mystery behind stagnation of favor for many men. They keep receiving honor. Those lower than you keep honoring you. But then you yourself don't give honor. 
So you remain there and all of them rise and catch up with your level and even go higher than you. Then you start saying, you people are competing with me, Abi. There's no such thing. You refuse to rise because you too are supposed to be rising. There are sowing seeds of honor. If you keep sowing seeds to me in Koinonia, whether money or whether whatever, and I don't do the same thing, you need to see me when I stand before greatness. You will not know it's the same Apostle Joshua Selma you're talking about. If it means me cleaning the shoes, I do it with Jesus' joy. Oh no. It's a big secret. Many of us do not know. Oh no. Oh no. I honor the Holy Spirit with my life. I don't just serve Him. I don't just use Him for anointing. Koinonia honors the Holy Spirit. That's why you see all kinds of signs and wonders. We don't ignore His presence. It doesn't matter what we are teaching. As the worship team, whatever happens, the Holy Spirit has unrestrained honor in this ministry. That's why we keep seeing signs and wonders. That's why we keep seeing Him lifting us from place to place. Every church I have gone to, I have honored them. Honored them not in terms of money necessarily, but honored them in terms of treating them well. I don't climb anybody's pulpit and violate their doctrinal beliefs regardless of what it is i manage whatever it is they believe and i preach well if their pulpit if it's a church that they are not allowed to jump around and move and stand in one place i stand in one place because it is honor and at the end of it they say wow we found a young man who is anointed there are churches i preach you never hear me pray in tongues once it doesn't mean i don't they do not allow that in the open and then i, I subscribe honor are we together? I'm showing you success systems. These are the mysteries that people have engaged that has changed their lives. Honor. You must sow seeds of honor. Number two. How do I activate favor consistently? Not today up and tomorrow down. Two. Value. We've spoken about it. You activate favor in your life when you solve people's problems when your life is committed to solving people's problems providing valuable solutions to them it's drizzling outside please coordinate them if some of them can come in let's this is coming or they, they can get into the the um the canopies thank you so much some of them who can come in you can bring them in but most of them can go to the canopies. God bless you and thank you. Hallelujah. Solving problems. We are blessed as a ministry because we solve problems. As I'm teaching now, I'm adding value to you. Is that true? I'm adding value. Listen, let me tell you something. Your, when you start solving people's problems, you should do honor. Thank you, sir. There are people I've never seen who call me, man of God, I just listened to your message, Essentials for a Glorious Relationship. You just saved our marriage. Here is a little seed. Man of God, I just listened to your message, Financial Dominion. Man of God, I just listened to your message, Why Revivals Die. Solving problems. The moment you solve problems, you show honor. And everywhere there is honor, I teach that there is favor. And everywhere there is favor, there are all kinds of rewards, including finances. So the more valuable you become in solving people's problems. Joseph scheduled a season of favor for himself because he was in the prison and he noticed that the prisoners were not laughing. Dr. Mike Mudo calls wisdom the ability to discern difference. And he saw that their countenance, something was wrong. And he asked them, what is wrong? They were not the ones who came and told him the dream. He said, what is wrong? And he said, ah, okay. You have asked let me tell you this is what happened and he interpreted the dreams and it happened value you must begin to solve people's problems they will love you they will honor you you must cry to god for grace to be a problem solver you are either creating problems or solving them you are either creating problems or solving them if some of these chairs are free please let's let's not have people stand they can occupy the chairs god bless you thank you hallelujah number three 
The third key to commanding favor in your life is integrity. The third key to activating favor in your life is integrity. Integrity. Very, very important. What is integrity? Comes from the word integer. Sameness. Consistency. Let me tell you something. You're a man of God here. Listen to me. Before people begin to bless you and sow into your church or your ministry, they will probe your life. Don't think because you just started ministry, people will bless you. They will probe your life. They will hear testimonies of changed lives and want to watch whether he's like one of them. After a life, a season of integrity and consistency, then they conclude. You know, let me tell you something. Hold on. Many people think that the moment you are anointed, you are charismatic, people will just be loyal to you like that. It's a dream. There are many anointed people who have attention but no loyalty. Do you know why? Because people must vet your life. And find out that you are worthy of their loyalty. Nobody will be loyal to you like that. Parents will not just ask their children, Oh, I don't have a problem with you loving this man of God. Give people a chance to probe your life and clear their doubts. Then they will honor you. Are we together? When we started out in this ministry, most people thought that, you know, we're just joking. Most people thought it was all this young people's thing. And... For, for, for years, most people thought I was on serious. It's just all these young guys doing things on campus. It's just these people trying to do something. But eventually, I never was angry with them. Because every great man must be probed. Saying people should not probe you is a joke. They check your character with ladies. They check your character with money. They check your character with discipline. They see how you manage challenges. They see a lot of it is based on that. They will say, Kai, this man is worth my commitment. We have seen that God brought two naira to his hand and that two naira did not change him. He did not stop preaching the truth just because he's looking for food to eat. This is a consistent man. This man will be my pastor. There are many people roaming around calling everybody son, calling everybody daughter. What investment have you made in their life? You must allow people to probe you. You start a business and they suspect whether your product... There are people, when I started out, because of the dimension of the anointing in my life, many people thought, you know, you know, anytime you see somebody walking in unusual levels of the anointing, you may think that maybe some kind of charm or whatever it is. And I used to hear people say it and I say, leave them. Even me, if I attended Koinonia and I watched a man called Joshua Selman, I would think he's holding a charm. And then you watch. There are many people, some of you seated today. Years ago, you would be the last person to be here because you had your differences. Some of you argued it, but with time, now you are some of the strongest people. Do you know there are people in many nations of the world and their assignment is to take koinonia messages. There are whole churches that sit down and what they use for either evening service or midweek service is a koinonia message and they just sit down there are youth groups youth fellowships around you know why because they took out time to probe you and when they see integrity the ability to be unbending regardless of the situations there are men of god who start teaching and say don't manipulate money from people but the day they have needs as a ministry they start bending to that standards are we together? Yes. Once people see integrity and consistency, then they make up their minds to listen to anything you say. Listen. Let people probe you until they find a reason to believe you. Never stop anybody. Listen. If there is anything you are unsure of about my life and this ministry, you have a right to sit down and clear your conviction so that you are confident. Are we together? Many of you get angry when people suspect you. <laughs> How come Pastor Alpha have been watching him? The way he has been rising in the last three months. This guy may have taught something. Abba, am I not innocent? Let people probe you. So that when they believe you, they will be the greatest defense. I know you. 
there are people to do it they are the ones who are defending this ministry ah no i used to know this brother there was a day he gave me 50 naira he started his giving sins do you know the people who accuse you today will be the ones to defend you tomorrow give them a chance to have a testimony by themselves there are people who think the miracles that we announce here are manipulated or faked simply because they've heard that maybe some churches do a lot of things and they come here and then the person who falls under the anointing is seated close to them they watch it with their own eyes and then eventually their own sicknesses leave and they go back and say wow i have seen for myself integrity the third key to activating favor consistency integrity on bending on bending consistently producing results when we started the school of ministry this is the fifth set now when we started the school of ministry most people thought it was a joke let me tell you something look up please as a man of god let me give you a great advice the moment you are doing too many things and you cannot continue in them men will stop believing you you just get up today and says we have 14 days of fire vigil and then after 12 days a kite we found out that things are happening we are not doing this again there are too many inconsistent people we are going to start koinonia business school and after two weeks nobody comes then you close it when people probe you and they see that you are too erratic you know what it means to be erratic you just come up with programs there's no consistency nobody will submit to such an authority people want to see consistency they want to know that this is who you are they want to know that you can be predictable you never hear anybody come and give testimony here i don't care whether you're a millionaire or whatever i have never gone to the house of anybody in the name of going there to find out and say okay we are some of our top uh, offering givers and tight payers in koinonia i love you so much and uh, i just wanted you to know that we have the following needs no if I've ever come to your house to tell you we have the following needs, stand up. Hallelujah. How many men of God have destroyed integrity from their lives? They go around harassing church members and look at people and say, uh, we don't know if God is speaking to you. There's a drum set. The thing has turned honestly is embarrassing. And you inconvenience people everywhere. Integrity. Please bring, bring the, the continuous now. Number four, the third, the fourth key to activating favor is quality relationships. Quality relationships. Favor is relationship dependent. That's why I taught you those other laws. Quality relationship. Who you know matters. It gives you access. Men can be wings to you. Men can become wings to you there are people we know today that can speak for us there are people i know today that can speak for me are we together they can make ex exemptions for you you sow seeds of favor seeds of favor and it changes your life forever relationships number five the third key to activating favor is praying favor provoking prayers there are favor provoking prayers the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that asketh lord open my heavens cause men to bless me put an anointing upon my life that makes men bless me favor provoking prayers you can pray your way among other things into favor favor provoking prayers many of us don't pray i pray it seriously lord this ministry is a well-watered garden people are coming givers are coming my life is a good soil people are sowing into my life as they sow into my life they receive a hundredfold harvest when you sow into a man's life and you receive a harvest nobody will tell you to do it again you will continue doing it again and again and again they sow into your life and nothing happens these are the seeds that you sow and then number six the sixth way of provoking or activating favor in your life is by an impartation from the careers of that anointing an impartation 
of the grace for favor an impartation of the grace for favor from the careers of the anointing this oil is not what anoints you this oil is simply oil when the oil is anointed then it becomes a medium to bless you the oil in itself has to be anointed this is not anointing oil this is oil after the prayers on it it becomes an anointing oil and it can bless you can favor be transferred can that grace the mantle the grace for favor be transferred absolutely there are people in this ministry that are carrying it bodily there are people who have begun to see it in their lives like day and night people call me all the time and say my god apostle this thing works like charm and tonight it will come upon your life what does favor give you in life speed speed what are the benefits of activating favor speed speed something that would take men 10 years can be achieved in three months under an atmosphere of favor What are the benefits of favor? Number two, ease. Ease. The mystery of ease. People like Bishop Oyedeko would call it sweatless triumph. Ease. Where the limes just fall for you in pleasant places and you have a good heritage. Battles that stand before you. While you are preparing to fight them, you open the door and find dead bodies. Favor fought your battles. Favor has fought my battles in life. I have seen for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of my faith. We magnify your name. Koinonia, look at this. We are in Zaria in the north. This whole road. This is a major road, but this whole road is blocked every Friday. Every Friday. Go and try to block a road somewhere in the name of service and see what happens to you. Everything works for our favor in this ministry. Everything, regardless of what it is. You try to fight this ministry, you will watch by yourself activating favor and making it happen. You don't fight a man of favor and win. It's a waste of time. It's like boxing in war. Where a man that carries the mantle of favor is untouchable. Literally untouchable. Because God will raise help left, right, and center. Left, right, and center. Left, right, and center. Many of our parents have no favor. No doors opening for them. Nothing happening. Favor. Koinonia today is a place of favor. 70% of the people who are blessed by this ministry have never seen me. How do you follow a man when the videos are not even uploaded on YouTube? They don't know the picture. The first and only time certain people have seen me is dreams. Yet you listen to the message, it forces you to look for someone and give him. Whether you like it or not. That's not normal. There are people following scattered across different nations this night. Favor has brought me honor. Favor has brought me glory. I have stood before politicians. I have stood before kings. I have stood before billionaires. I have drank of their minds and their wisdom for free. Men have given me access, uncommon access, uncommon doors. It still happens all the time and it will not fail. There are people who send me text messages every time. Apostle, is there anything we can do for you? We want to do for you. I don't know how many people in this ministry send text messages every time. We want to wash your car. We want to do something. 
somebody came early in the morning i was sleeping and i had it, it was like there was water splashing on my car and i checked and i saw somebody washing my car by force i know if i ask you you won't agree i said what is this one honestly they even disturb it just washing the car with joy i said now if i drive this person It is real and it happens. We have sown seeds of favor. We meet the security people. We honor them. We bless them. The, the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers, they come here. Some, I'm sure many of them are outside here with the buses and they are waiting. 99% of them are not necessarily Christians, but they love Koinonia and they will come and wait and watch the service and watch everything happening. No complaint. You know why? Because seeds of honor have been sown. Seeds of honor has been sown. There are so many people. We have scattered seeds of honor around. Look at CGC. And the honor that they have shown this ministry. I have never seen a ministry with men of God as humble and members that love Jesus and truthfully like the members in this church. CGC. It is true. It is true. It is from my heart and it is true. Hallelujah. Some of the pastors are my fathers and literally those men can see me and just greet like this. And I'm wise enough to know that whilst they are sowing seeds of honor, I must sow seeds of honor. Every time people sow seeds of honor, sow it back. Don't receive and wait. You receive, they have risen, but you have remained where you are. They will be calling you a superstar, but it will be for a short time until they catch up with you. Somebody blesses you. Ah, um, Pastor Alpha, bless you. You reciprocate back. That way both of you have risen. We sow into the lives of mission agencies because we honor what they represent. That's why souls continue to be saved here. David Ibiu, may the Lord ask him to go and meet Billy Graham before he dies. And David Ibiu may travel to America, carried a very huge seed, sowed into the life of Billy Graham. And Billy Graham said a word of prayer for him. He said he came back and preached a very simple message. And about one third of the church came out for altar call. He carried something. Whenever you see consistency, there is something. Tonight, you're about to receive an impartation. This may be one of the most important days in your life. Some of you have never had a man of God impart anything upon you. You have gone for anointing services. Some of you have all kinds of oils in your house. Oil does not anoint. The oil is anointed to anoint. My prayer is that there will be a replication of results. This is my prayer. And I don't, I know that not everybody will believe it. But brothers and sisters, if you believe this, God has given me honor. God has given me honor. Honor beyond my level in life. Everything connected to me has flourished. God has blessed me. He has done all kinds of things. While you are seated, everyone, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is the moment. I'm ready to succeed. I am tired of failing. I am tired of hardship. Pray. I'm trusting that God will make someone's life marvelous. The key, listen, the key is not running around. The key is staying. Martha, you are worried and offended about many things, but one thing is needful. Oh God, I should have had five children now. Don't you know he can give you one child that is like a nation? Oh God, I've been crying about that job. When we talk about intimacy with God, many busy people think it's a waste of time. No, no, no. Look, I teach us some. No. No. If I followed that route, I would have been a failure today. A big failure. I'm not ashamed. You are the power in me. You are the fire at work in me. You are 
my ever present helper, Holy Spirit. How do you stand and look at someone with a growth and take away that growth just like that? How do you look at someone who is dead and bring the person back to life? There are people here now with situations that doctors have written you off. Even a charm cannot solve it. You need a commodity that is not available in the earth. I told you the anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. In a few minutes from now, 10 years problems will just leave just like that no 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 no. that's what happens when you value him that's what happens that's what happens listen when you honor a man of God you don't just honor a body you honor the sacrifice the sacrifice of alignment that has caused that man to be able to hold certain dimensions of possibility listen to me all men are not equal no sir it's, it's a very harsh statement but it's the truth we are equal in Christ but our sacrifices and the election of grace are separated men to cadres based on the possibilities they can host ignoring that reality will be to the doom of a man the Holy Spirit we are going to begin to pray but I, 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 I just four things the Holy Spirit you don't know him you are in trouble you will be faced by too many things that your age cannot solve you didn't study everything you had a degree in an area having a degree in engineering or in medicine is not having a degree in wisdom no sir that information is too small to define the quality of your life ministry you need him you want to succeed in life you don't just need information you need a person hallelujah holy spirit it's grace and glory i trust that god will initiate people into that dimension of grace of intimacy with the holy spirit hallelujah yes the holy spirit is speaking to me and he's saying there are seven people here right now that he wants to call like a call into intimacy seven people seven people seven people seven people Call your people, oh God. It's an initiation into a dimension of intimacy. The sister outside, for he will be real to you. Real to you by his spirit. This is not an issue of jamboree. It's not an issue of feeling anointed. It's walking with a person. It will make your life a wonder a wonder a wonder he will make your life a wonder he will not just give you anointing he will walk with you walk with you so you become an effulgence of that grace then you can say that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have heard. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving me your Son and leaving your Spirit, your work in my life is done. I thank you. Oh, my Father, for giving me your son 
can lead your spirit your word on earth Please sit down if you can. The third thing that you must know is you must understand the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Please, I want you to be very sensitive. We'll soon arise to pray. Sensitive. Ah, I just saw something jumping out of a lady. Jumping out of a lake. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Forever faithful towards me. You're always provide for me. Praise your mercy towards me. Praise your way. Praise your mercy towards me. Your allow the Holy Spirit to flow something is happening now the Lord is showing me a map you know this happens and I'm seeing Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna right now the anointing is touching Southern Kaduna people Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit you're from that place an unction an unction I see a map in the spirit Southern Kaduna, let the hand of God step into that dimension. It's not a miracle, it's a sign and wonder. It's a demonstration of a dimension of the spirit. Everyone from Southern Kaduna comes under the influence of this grace. Southern Kaduna. Lift them, oh God. I hear my spirit lifting, lifting, lifting. He's raising you. Raising you by his spirit, raising you. There is an unction that makes this possible. Raising you by his spirit. I hope I'll be able to finish this. The mysteries of the kingdom. That's the third thing that you must seek to know. Not just the word of God not just rema the mysteries there is a lady in overflow three one is here two is the one by the road three is the one by the empty land there is a lady overflow three the anointing of the holy spirit is coming upon her please i want i want her to come overflow three i'm seeing like an arrow right from this building right down there Please sit down. Let's hurry up so that we can do a quick walk. There are so many people. You must access the mysteries of the kingdom. Everybody say mysteries. A mystery is a secret code of operation. The kingdom of God operates based on systems. And you see, these mysteries contain in them the revelations of God the revelations of God alongside the dimensions of his power. I've taught us here that there are two dimensions of God's power. The first dimension of God's power is enshrined in mysteries and principles. The second dimension of God's power is enshrined in a relationship. Two dimensions of God's power. 
So you don't have to be born again to experience the first dimension. The moment a principle is consistent with the character of God, it will release a dimension of the power of God, like tithing, like sowing and reaping, like being responsible, like mentorship. All of these are principles in the kingdom that are backed up by God's own character. You must access the principles of the kingdom. Therein lies the key to your dominion. It is a terrible thing to be in the face of life and not know what to do. You must know what to engage for the outcomes you desire. Can you tell me you understand the mystery that governs restoration? You know restoration is a possibility in the kingdom. But what is the code of operation that is responsible for releasing that dimension of possibility? Because the Bible lets us know that both the years and even substances that a man loses can come back. But do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make that possible? Are we together? Do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make a sick person healthy? Yes, you know that divine healing is a possibility. But what controls it? Laying on of hands? No! No! Laying on of hands is just a channel. The inner workings is the spiritual understanding that backs that. Are we together now? You have to understand. The power of God is released through light. Remember the scripture Habakkuk. There was the hiding place of his power. Are we together? When you understand that, you don't have to lay hands on men to heal them. It doesn't even have to be a miracle service. The very understanding you have will respond to a man's need. The same way if I stand with you and I have, say, tuberculosis, you're a doctor. Doctor, if I have tuberculosis and you stand near me, must I believe in you to receive it? No, listen to me carefully. Are we together now? I'm standing close to you. It vetoes whether I agree with you. I can even be insulting you. But that's none of the business of the tuberculosis. Once there is proximity, it will enter you. You will live angry, but you must receive it. So if I can transfer sickness, why can I not transfer health? Are you seeing that now? That means I can stand close to you and transfer something from me to you. Life. Being the light of men. You see that? That's the concept of whatsoever is born of God. Not whosoever. Whatsoever is born of God can overcome. Not by jacking yourself. An understanding grants you access to that dimension in the spirit. where you can walk in it so you can come with a challenge you can come with a sickness like some of you are here now trusting God all kinds of impossible situations they've told you it cannot be solved they are right based on their understanding this is a doctor they are not wrong based on their understanding but God's God's manifold wisdom introduces possibilities you see he says with God with God, watch this. I've taught you alone, it is impossible, but with God, with God alone, I cannot call, but with my phone, with in partnership with God, all things, all things, all things are possible. I want you to look at the situation you came here with for the last time tonight. Because in the name of the Lord God of heaven, it will go. Hmm. My assignment tonight is to bring it face to face with the power that created the universe. Not the power that governs Nigeria. Not the power that governs UN. The power that created the heavens and the earth. For he upholds all things by the word of his power. Number three. That's it there. Mysteries. So number one, you must know God. Number two, that's redemption and everything that concerns God 
in the person of Jesus. Number two, you must understand the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The third thing, you must have access to the word. You must crave for accurate understanding. Number four, this is a mystery I believe that has been known by very few. And I truly believe with all my heart that is one of the things that God has anointed me to reveal is the mystery of the body. The fourth thing you must know if you want to excel is you must understand the mystery of the body of Christ. This strategy called the body of Christ. The body of Christ is not just people. The body of Christ, many people say the body of Christ is not just a church. There are people. The body of Christ is not people. The body of Christ is a strategy. The only strategy capable of birthing the purposes of God is called Ecclesia, the body of Christ. The body of Christ is not a people. It's a strategy. That's why he said, I will build it. I will build it. He didn't say, I will make it. I will build it like a formula, like a plan. And I will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell will not prevail against it. There is a formation that the body of Christ is built. It is so formidable. The gate of hell can only touch members, not the body. The body was built by a system that cannot be touched by the gate of hell. Are we together? Never forget this. Many people have been robbed of the full dimension of the power of God. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 30. Remember, for this cause, many are weak. Many are sickly. It is for these causes. There is only one reason why people are not able to rise to represent the fullness of God. He said, for this cause, many are weak, limited. For this cause, many are sickly. And for this cause, many sleep. When was the last time you went for funeral and they told you somebody died because he did not discern the body? That's what killed him. Please pay attention. Get my teachings discerning the body. That whole series. You have to listen. If you are in ministry here or you are a church leader, a deacon, you have to listen to it. If not, you will never rise. A body has thou prepared for me. It was prepared to be used. A formidable strategy that beats hell hands down. It's called the body of Christ. Everything is available in the body. Listen carefully. So if it is not available in your life, it is available in the body. You have to learn that. Any possibility my life is not manifesting does not define the possibility of God. It is only the possibility of my experience. But that reality is available. Are we together now? Yes. Son of man, can these bones live? And Ezekiel said, this is not a possibility within my frame of reality. He says, let me show you. The body. The body. This body is a mystery. It was built with a formula. Christ being the chief cornerstone. Immediately after Christ, two strange ministries, the apostolic and the prophetic, then the building rises. You must follow that formula to be formidable. It is the building of the body. So when you see a man telling you, you don't need any man in your life. Don't depend on any man. It's only God. They are sincere in that they are trying to balance human worship. But that's a destructive revelation that will kill you. Because please listen to my message. I'm just doing a quick recap because I'm telling you the things to study. We'll begin to pray. Listen carefully. I told you that there are mantles and there are systems. Remember the teaching? Yes. A system represents a covenant with God that releases a dimension of his possibility within the dispensation of that civilization. It's called a system. So in every dispensation, there is a way and manner God wants to be known. And the way he advances that knowledge of him is through covenant. Your relationship with God, your spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advancement is based on covenant. So when God wants to release a dimension of him to a generation, he finds a man. Listen, he enters a covenant with that man 
that for as long as that man is alive he represents the spiritual system for releasing that possibility to that dispensation no one alive in that dispensation will taste of that dimension of God without believing or in alignment to that system this is how the kingdom is Abraham represents the system of the blessing the journey of a believer's blessing starts from him system are we together now Elijah represents God's system of purifying and preparing men for revival Elijah is not a man Elijah is a system I've taught you this the first manifestation of the spirit of Elijah was seen in Noah Elijah always precedes the great and terrible day of the Lord the moment there is a visitation upon a people Elijah must come that's why Elijah is still alive God's apostolic and prophetic system that prepares men for revival for the move of God is called Elijah is a system the man Elijah died he's simply a man named after the system the system continues the Antichrist is a system not just a person you see that Peter a system that represents faith systems on earth today there are men who are not just human beings but systems when you trace the ministry of the Holy Spirit it can start from anywhere you choose upon the earth today right now it will end with Benny Hinn. you see that Benny Hinn is not carrying a mantle he's a system he represents that possibility no one will enter into the healing ministry without honoring what he represents to the body this is called the mystery of discerning the body Kenneth Copeland today represents God's system of faith and prosperity start from any point in the world you will start moving from mantle to mantle grace to grace and it will land back in him there are many systems like that you will never get this through prayer and fasting no matter how you pray God will lead you to those people he will give you encounters but he will lead you there is a system I have provided it is your alignment with that system that will produce those possibilities how much of the body do you know imagine what would have happened into your life now if you could discern the body discerning the body is different from destiny helpers destiny helpers are not systems destiny helpers they may not even be born again they are just people that God anoints to help you get to your destiny there are bodies terrestrial and there are bodies celestial he says even among the stars one different from another in glory not in shape in glory hallelujah praise the lord if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been healed since if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been blessed since many people want to be rich but they criticize those who represent the systems that deliver that possibility there is no amount of prayer and fasting that will bring you into that possibility because when you scorn the grace that represents that reality you authorize that door to close it only opens to honor not even seats honor if your seat sowing is a communication of that honor then it opens are you seeing that now? I can't criticize Papa Ia Deboy and Bishop Oyedeko and one crowds and multitudes. It's impossible. Carry posters everywhere. It will not happen. There is a system. This is not publicity. It's a spiritual reality. So in honor of what they represent, I am authorized to access that reality. That's why you are here tonight. Let me tell you something. Listen carefully. You see this thing you call koinonia? Koinonia is not a ministry. Koinonia is a system. You have to believe this. It's a system. It's not a movement. It's not a fellowship. It's not a group. It's a system. It's a system that has become a portal to release certain possibilities of God. I, I want you to be very hopeful. So that when you come you don't have to be afraid there is something about the atmosphere 
So no matter how far you are, you have come to Mount Zion. Certain things happen. This is not just some human bragging, a man of God trying to shine his ministry. No. Tonight, you are standing face to face with possibilities that are contained in God. Please listen to me. You're standing face to face with a reality that you now possess that can change. Your ministry, your business, your family is standing face to face with a challenge. And what you're about to watch within the next few minutes is what I call the dominion power of light over darkness. The invincibility of the wisdom and the might and the power of God over darkness it will happen at the speed of light converting your prayer request to a testimony it's not trying to believe a reality here and now hello him Adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done hello him Adonai thy kingdom come Thy will be done. Hello, him not of thy. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Hello, him not of thy. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Hello, him not of thy. Hello, him not of thy. Thy kingdom come. Give me a testimony. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Two, two. Let it end every captivity. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it break every burden in my life. standing everyone I want to make an altar call quickly right now everyone stand there are people here overflow one two three following us online in this place right now the Bible says this life is in his son you don't hear about the son and receive life you meet the son there are people standing here men and women scattered around you are a pastor leader deacon gentleman lady old young rich poor regardless of your status jesus said ye must be born again there are people here who have not met jesus we have to do this very fast because there will be such an outpouring of the holy spirit in this place you are here inside and outside you have heard what i said and whilst i was speaking the spirit of god the one we so honor 
was beginning to minister to you that you must make your ways right with God. And then you've been here and for some reason, you've been one leg in and one leg out. Loved God was on fire, but different things happened somewhere around your life and you're here probably standing inside and outside and wondering, man of God, can I join them? Most welcome. I want to count one to five. And um, now this is how we do it. I want you to come. The first sets of people can come out. When they come and here is full, then all the others that come will just stand at their various overflows, just close to your projector. But I want to count one to five and I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Right now, one. Quickly. Quickly run to Jesus. From the depth of your heart. You can keep standing. You don't have to lie down or kneel down. God bless you. You don't have to kneel down, madam. You can stand. Quickly. Two. Don't think about it. Run to Jesus. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. Man of God, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. I remember coming out for altar call one day. But right now, I'm not sure. No, if you are not sure, you have to come out. When a woman is pregnant, she knows. You are not sure, join them. Something is wrong with what happened to you. Three, are you coming? Apostle, I'm trying to come out, but my neighbor is stopping me. We rebuke that spirit trying to stop you. Come out, come to Jesus. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Let this be the beginning of the miracle service for you. I think we have enough people inside now. Every other person that comes, just direct them to their various overflows outside. Those coming from outside, you can wait there now. In every moment, I'm away. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. You, you love Jesus Christ? Come. I'm seeing you. You are not working well. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with her? Who brought her? Because I looked at you and I saw you limping and then I saw in the realm of the spirit severe pain. Come. What's wrong with you? From where are you? Program. So she now told me that I should come and attend the program. So For I have diabetes and also back pain uh, from the back uh, down to my leg everything yes i'm feeling the pain very well that is why she asked me to come and do the program with you people here so that is why i came here mommy look at me every one of them you heard what i said everyone will leave you here and you'll go back to abuja amen amen you believe that yes of course, if it doesn't work, your sister will not ask you to come. Hallelujah. I'm going to lead you people to pray. Join them to pray. We're going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ and all that devil will go. The ultimate cure is not the prayer for healing. The ultimate cure is Jesus. A man was brought to Jesus crippled and he says, thy sins be forgiven. And people say, ah, what is this? And Jesus said, which is easier? Hi. That means to be healed is easier than to be saved. So it's not as easy. It's not just recitation. Are we together? Mama, I'll pray for you. Go back and join them. Those of you standing here, the overflow, lift your right hand and sincerely, you are not reciting a poem. From the depth of your heart, I want you to say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus. No, some of you are crying, but don't worry. Jesus sees your tears. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me and tonight I receive your life I receive your grace I receive your spirit I declare that I'm born again 
I'm a child of God in the name of Jesus victory is given to me over sin over the flesh and over the world in Jesus name please keep your hands lifted I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the power of sin the power of the flesh and the world over you is broken right now I declare your sins forgiven I declare that the life of God is at work in you beginning from today the Lord transforms your life by his spirit in the name of Jesus Christ now I want you to do something for me very quickly please cooperate with all the people um, whether outside any of the overflows there is a gentleman waving his hand some um, of the uh, ushers there I want you to just follow them quietly and then give them your correct details very quickly this is so that we'll follow you up and then we'll get to see you so do that very very quickly very quickly madam I will pray for you you go and write your name and come back while we are waiting for them please make sure we are going to be very fast you see that our time is gone so it's going to be a very quick walk very quick walk we're going straight to the business of the night and i want you to believe it doesn't take time it only takes god it doesn't take time it only takes god very very quickly very very quickly we're going to trust the lord to please ushers coordinate them very quickly and uh, let's have them back because we want to pray now are we together everyone say after me in the name of jesus Please be serious in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every spirit, every force, every influence standing against God's word over my life, I declare that you are under judgment tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Shala bras kada baladia. Shapra tas kala brato shobrige de balada balada ba. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are always spirits behind the tragedies of men. Whether or not you know, it is there. And until those influences are taken out of your life, victory is far from your reach. Are we together? Number two, I want you to decree and declare that the fire of God must fall upon every challenge you came here with. Say, Lord, visit it one by one until there is total victory don't let the challenge don't let the challenge limit you take your eyes away from it and pray are you praying inside and outside Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one.
lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent such a strong anointing in this place tonight lift your hands and just be silent please I'm seeing two numbers five and one and the Lord is saying there are 51 people here 51 people he's bringing massive deliverance to their families I want you to bring them out 51 people don't shout don't do nothing just keep your hands the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands and the power of God that unction for deliverance will move like wildfire all through the overflows right now I stretch my hands in the name of the Lord God whose I am and whom I serve right now I release the ministry of angels mighty deliverance right now bring them out the fire of God is visiting individuals for their families I see fire burning that's what I'm seeing bring them out just keep your hands lifted the angel of his presence moving inside and outside moving inside and outside Please quickly, let's have them. Overflow one. I see a strange activity of angels. Strange deliverance. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty in your You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Seketela Kata, keep your hands lifted. Malekete Prekete Nakaya. Ay, 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 Mighty on the road. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. Help that lady, please. You are mighty on the Break forth, down fountains of the deep. And with Kadosh, you are mighty on the road. Keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing snakes. That's what I'm seeing. Just flying up. Snakes. I'm seeing many ladies being delivered from this influence. Right now, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus. I put the word of God upon this prophecy. In the name of Jesus, I release upon it the power to perform. Shakatakata. Those influences in the name of Jesus, I release judgment, 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 judgment upon every strange influence limiting the life of God's people. Break forth down fountains of the deep and weep and weep and weep at all. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. Jesus. I'm seeing gates. Gates with chains. One shout is what will bring that gate down. Are you ready? Just a shout of the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Be 
be opened by the unction of the Spirit. The gates must open. Tonight is a miracle service. I prophesied the two lift gates be open. The two lift gates. Many of you don't know what is happening in the realm of the spirit. I tell you, I see gates, gates of destinies, gates of possibilities that are being held by witchcraft, gates over families. No progress, no results. I come tonight with an apostolic and a prophetic anointing. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Listen. Listen to me. A gate is what gives a man access. Access into a place access out of a place the bible says to open the doors of prison there are men who are moving but they are under prison there's nothing hear me you may be here listening to me there's nothing you do that works no matter how you try seek advice it will not work no matter what you do you are not bad you are not lazy but there is a spirit but right now lift your hands in the name of jesus one more time, I come against the spirits that stand as gatekeepers over the victory of people, over the life of people. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name. The name that is a key that opens the gate. One, two, three. I open it. I open it. I open it. Online, outside. Command it to open. I command it to open. Locked by ancestry. Locked by divination. Locked by necromancy and projection. Manipulation of the constellations. I command in the name of He that holds the key of David. I command that door be open. That no power can shut. be sensitive tonight the spirit of God is moving one of the ushers one of the ushers you are an usher but the unction of the spirit help her visiting your family visiting your family hallelujah hallelujah I'm seeing a lady quickly. There's no time to speak. Our time is gone. We have to pray for the sick. But I'm seeing a lady. You have two sisters. Two of them are barren. They are married. No children. Please, where are you? It's part of your prayer request. You are wearing a black dress. You are the one. Come. Thy kingdom come. I will be Ah, there's witchcraft in your family. Look at me. Come. You are a great lady, but there is terrible witchcraft in your family. There is a lady. Again, the Lord is opening my eyes. I don't know why this happens. I'm seeing a map. Benway. Benway. Benway people get ready. Benway. 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 I see Benway. And the Lord says, stretch your hands and bring deliverance to men in Benway. I stretch my hands right now. The anointing of the Spirit visiting people. Benway. 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 By the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. Hear me? And I'm hearing in my spirit, break the covenant of motherhood. I don't know what this means. But this is something that has to do with a covenant involving women. I arrest it right now. In the name of Jesus, 
I see fire dropping right now. People from Benway, you are from Benway, you come under this influence. Please help that person. Benway, Benway, the spirit of the living God, the spirit of the living God, traveling to Benway, breaking covenant. I speak to the soil of that land, release the destinies tied with you. Listen, what I'm seeing is not good. The Lord is taking me to a vision and I'm standing and I'm seeing black ropes around trees. This is Otuko. Black ropes tied around trees and the Lord tells me that the destiny of men were tied to those trees. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your hands. At the count of three, may the fire that the God of Elijah commanded, I command it right now upon every shrine, every activity of darkness. In the name of Jesus, let it come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. Hallelujah. The supernatural I've taught you operates only in partnership with five elements. Listen. Without one or more of these elements, the supernatural cannot find expression. Guy, I'm seeing a wild this is a serpent. I'm looking at this person and I'm not seeing a human being again. I'm seeing a serpent. I stretch my hands. The Bible says, For the light shines in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Now listen carefully. Five elements of the supernatural. Number one is light. The supernatural cannot find expression until it can use the medium of light. Number two, the air, sound. The supernatural cannot find expression until there is a medium of sound. Number three, the earth. The earth is a universal point of contact. Every living thing makes contact with it. Number three. Are we together? Number four, water. The mystery that bears witness. Water is not an entity. Water is history. Water is a memory bank of the realm of the spirit. Contained within it are more mysteries than we understand. Number five, fire. A mystery entity that does not run away from anything and yet consumes everything purifies and destroys can make and kill the only personality with the quality of fire is God can make a life and destroy it would destroy another thing and in it lift another thing purify gold and destroy the impurities I want us to use one of the elements of the supernatural because everyone is standing on the ground I want to pray for you the Lord is asking me to break delay please just follow me we are coming to the sick people but just follow me tonight let's walk circumspectly I'm seeing people whose feet have been tied down they cannot move you are here no matter what you do there is no progress this is the story of your family look at me the Lord wants to visit you first even before your family your two sisters, they are married, no child. Are you married? You are not married. We have to pray. I don't know if you believe what I'm telling you, but God is raising you to be a savior in your family. Believe this thing, no. You may not look like it, but it is the spirit of Deborah. But first and foremost, you must be delivered first. God is not finished with her. I command that devil, go. There is no hiding in his presence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God whom I serve, I command the reign of witchcraft as I hold you right now. Over your sisters, over your life and over your family, I command them to be broken right now. I release upon you grace for restoration. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for you, that grace of Deborah that causes women to rise with the strength of men, I release that grace upon you. I want you to go and tell your sisters, the Lord brings a visitation to them. Even as he did to Hannah at Shiloh. 
the Lord comes for them with strange visitations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ now all those under the anointing I command the spirits any spirit that has been located by God must leave the victims therefore in the name of Jesus and at the count of three you know my voice I represent his majesty at the count of three you must let them go now and forever one two three be gone go out of their lives destinies now and forever out of their lives out of their destinies I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery for when a thief is caught he's made to pay back tenfold I command recovery in the name of Jesus let them go there is no hiding for his light shines upon you in the name of Jesus Christ listen if there is any project you are involved in lift your hand any project business project building project please just lift your hands before I pray we pray the prayer that will release speed projects ah. I'm standing and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord walking across this place and I'm standing here and he's saying I should stretch my hands here there is a visitation that is coming for the people here therefore I stretch my hands Lord your will be done I don't know those who you are bringing perfection to them right now in the name of Jesus I release that unction and that grace everyone within this vicinity let there be supernatural deliverances and supernatural miracles help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now everyone is standing I want to pray for you please listen there is such a thing as advancement in a man's life it's not a doctrine it's an experience where a man can make progress spiritually financially business wise if you are in a position for a long time it's a sign that something is wrong are we together it says ye have come past this mountain long enough then it tells you the formula the door is in the north it said turn northwards turn northwards you have come past this mountain long enough I want you to stand on the ground I see physical fire rising and sweeping consuming people's feet some of you as this is happening you will hear the sounds of physical chains literally physical chains this will happen I want us to shout the name of Jesus three times that's what the Holy Ghost is telling me I will lead you and you will shout it the third time the chains of delay and stagnation will will break open many of you physically physically you feel it happening thank you Jesus let the word of God come upon this prophecy are you ready now number one are you ready number two now I want you to get ready that grace that came upon Elijah and caused him to run overtaking the chariots of Ahaz speed and advancement is coming on people right now are you ready shout Jesus receive it now receive it now let the earth deliver to your destiny the keys of advancement I command you to advance I command you to move forward I break limitations I break limitations I command advancement outside advancement the overflows advancement may that anointing hit you advancement 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 in the name of Jesus the son of the living God no power can stop you God 
is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than many. Help me. Our God is healer, awesome in power. your hands towards me. Don't lift it up. Stretch it towards me. There is, there is going to be an activation of strange gifts. Strange gifts. Strange gifts. Strange gifts. The time for impartation will come. But fire is living. And it's coming upon people and the Lord said, let them stretch their hands. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands back to you. In the name of Jesus. Gifts, gifts, gifts. Don't man gifts. Don't man gifts. Where is it? I call it forth now. Don't man gifts. Don't man gifts. You may not know it's there. I'm not talking of the gifts of the spirit. I'm talking of potentials. Gifts, gifts. I stir it up right now. Like a well, I command it. Like the axe head, I command it to float right now. I command it to float right now. Gifts that will bring you honor. Gifts. So toko toko tope reke teke te. Gifts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gifts. There is a lady. I'm looking at you now in the realm of the spirit. You are dressed in something that looks like orange, like the house are dressing from your head to who is that? Who is that? Come from this row. Jesus praise. What's your name? Veronica. From where? I came from Abuja. You came from Abuja. As I stood here, I was hearing your prayer, and you were saying, Lord, let this man of God locate me. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that two things now. Number one is captivity and reproach is being rolled away from your life. That's the first thing that is happening to you. Captivity and reproach. Captivity and reproach. Inside, inside the main auditorium, from where people sit in front, count nine lines, nine rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The power of God is coming on somebody on that row right now, inside. Inside. It's a strange miracle coming for that person. The ninth row. Supernatural manifestation of the power of God. My sister, what do you want the Lord to do in your life? Uh -uh. You are just generalizing. Huh? I'm looking at you and then I'm seeing your heart and I'm seeing should I say it? Do you believe you can? Are you married? Huh? Where's your husband? Did you come with him? What do you want the Lord to do for him? See, this man is your real prayer. That's, that's you want the Lord to honor him. And what, what is he doing now? I'm seeing him leaving that place oh, to another place. That has been your desire. Go and tell him that a man of God has prophesied to him that he's going to leave that place supernaturally supernaturally and that he should stop wasting his time over the person he's calling all the time to help him that's not where his help will come from go and tell him that the lord said he can raise help anywhere in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen there is a lady here in this room in this um place i'm hearing grace please let's hurry up quickly so i can leave this place we have to pray for the sick i'm hearing grace grace who is that you are down at that side grace who is that wearing red grace that's okay grace your name is grace this is not this is is it maimuna is it maimuna or something i'm hearing a name maimuna 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 
I wish we had time today, but we have to pray for the sick. I want us to leave this very fast because I'm going to counsel. Well, just leave her. I found the person, but, but you come. My dear, I want to pray. Who is this? No, 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 no. It's not just any grace. I pray for you. My dear, lift your hands. God wants to visit your family. There are four people here. A very strange unction for revelation and teaching is coming upon you now. No, 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 no. Four of you right now. A strong power is hitting you right now. Just in this, this place outside. I don't know what it is about this place. Maybe the miracle services will start coming here now. There is there's real faith in this place. My dear, I end it now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Keep your hands on her stomach. I end it now. I command that reproach taken from your life. In the name of Jesus. Don't come out for social reasons, but I'm seeing a lady here. You have suffered a very terrible infection. This is a, a woman issue. A terrible infection. This thing, you have treated it and done everything you know to do, but it has refused to go. This is witchcraft. It's not just a normal infection. You have spent your money. But right now, the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that it comes to an end. Complete end. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Complete end. I stretch my hands. Four people. Right now here in this world. Lord, where are they? One is a lady. Three are gentlemen. Step into that dimension. That's right. Help them. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on. There is a mother here. God wants to wipe her tears. Madam, who is a gala here? Hold on. You are a gala. From where? From where? Opo. What is that? Is there a place like that in the gala land? Huh? In Kogi State. So that you don't come and tell us lies. If, if you are not from there, just wait. There is your turn will come from lift your hands I'm seeing an attack on your life and your family and the Lord is with you free madam where is your child did you come with your child There's no time to waste, please. I'll just pray for you so that we can go. In the name of witchcraft, now. And on you right now. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hand. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is bringing into my life strange testimonies lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice those outside are you praying lift your voice and begin to pray Kai, one of the things listen hold on i'm seeing now i want you to believe it i just looked up and i started hearing the cry of as if babies just fill the room listen carefully I just lifted i wanted to move and i just lifted my eyes and the lord told me that one of the major miracles he's doing tonight is giving people children if you are standing in for barrenness whether you are in any overflow please come in i want to minister to you by myself barrenness only barrenness please husband and wife if you are standing for barrenness except you are standing in for someone if you are standing alone you must be married praise god you are standing alone you must be married in the name of Jesus may that grace come upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit please stand you can go you can go Pastor Alpha now we are going to pray and while they are doing that let's buy time ushers move around all the overflows make sure you collect the request of everybody I notice overflow three there are few people attending to them there so let's have people. You see why we need more ushers and we need more people. Say after me, Father. Father. Everyone shout it, Father. Father. We, receive we receive your visitation. Your visitation. 
in the name of Jesus we receive miracles signs and wonders now please accept they ask you you don't have to tell them what is wrong don't worry the hand of God is here to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ father we give you all the praise those online I want you to connect by faith and trust the power of God to touch you we have very few minutes to do this and in the name of Jesus will be done no matter what the issue is as we touch you start checking yourself you can register your testimony we'll take it on Friday whether you are standing in for someone don't worry the power of God is there to touch you in the name of Jesus father we give you all the praise do you know why I came here because I saw that this woman your issue is not just healing hold on I saw the, her holding pictures and a passport and then I'm looking at it and I saw a plane is it something like you were staying outside the country is that true yes sir. because I'm seeing a woman a plane bringing you is that true uh -uh. and the Lord is opening my eyes I'm seeing another vision I'm seeing a quarrel between you and a man like your husband and that man drove you. Yes, sir. He drove. Yes, sir. From where? From abroad. Where is abroad? Qatar. From where? Where is he? This is you. Yes. Ah. One week. Oh my God. This is a baby. Look at me. Why did he drive you away? You see why prophecy is powerful. Look at this woman. Come, madam. I looked at these things and the Lord told me that this woman needs help. I know I'm taking time, but let's attend. Madam, don't cry. It's okay. Where were you before? No other man. We are together in our blood. We are together. Are, were you married? Yes, sir. You are from where? Benway State, sir. You are from Benway? Yes, sir. You see, I told you what God was saying about Benway. You, you married him and went abroad? Yes, sir. Then what happened? He said as you come back, my paper is having issue. Not knowing that he went and married secretly from my community. So he lady, married another woman? Yeah, from my same community, sir. He's staying abroad with her? Yes, sir. He drove you away with the baby? Yes, sir. No, he, he drove me when the pregnancy was one week. <laughs> Did he know you were pregnant? No, sir. Immediately I took it. He now said I should come see, back. Man, listen. This, this is what we, we keep saying again and again. Please listen to me. Now, I don't mean no disrespect. But you see why ladies will tell you people to marry people who are born again. Not just people who have money. Huh? Don't let anybody just come and show you one shoe, one bag, and just carry you around like that. It must be godly. Look at what this man did for this woman. One week and left her with this innocent child. So where are you staying now? I'm staying out in Abuja. So my it's sister. from Abuja you came? Yes, sir. What do you want God to do for you? I want God to bring him back for me, sir. He married another woman? Yes, sir. She knew you were his wife? Yes, And she still came and married? Yes, my dad is also here, sir. Where's your dad? Yes. Daddy, please come, sir. Oh, he cannot walk. After my marriage, I now send stroke to him, sir. He's from, okay, Benway too. Yes, sir. Wow. Why am I seeing light leaving you to this man? Come. What's your relationship with her? He's my stepbrother. I'm a first, uh, I mean, stepbrother, the firstborn of the family. You are the firstborn? Yes, sir. From where? From a Benin state. You are suffering. Kai. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Nothing is working your life. Yes, sir. At all. You need the hand of God. Look at your father. Look at this man. Look at this dear man. You see this? This, brothers and sisters, believe it or not, is what witchcraft looks like. Are you seeing this? Whether you are in Qatar or wherever, if that spirit is not destroyed, this is what it will do. Because I stood and I looked at her and I saw a plane carrying a woman. But she didn't look, if you see this woman, does she look like somebody who has gone abroad? I'm not insulting you. You can see that this woman was not even treated well. Suffered with the man, now he went abroad and sent her back. When this baby now 
if we decide to carry this baby and take care of this baby when this baby becomes responsible the man will now call the court and come and say he wants his child back then they will now accuse men of God and accuse everybody and say everybody is stupid you are using the baby to make to get power you see why sometimes we avoid these things it's not because we cannot help people honestly it's because sometimes the media right now are experts at stigmatizing men of God you do anything to try to help this baby now you'll be in trouble are we together Holy help me you're the God of awesome one. Hey, you up your power. The Lord is opening my eyes. The same spirit that made that man drive you is making him fight with this woman now. They are not even. No, 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 no. I'm not seeing peace. Huh? I'm not seeing peace. I'm seeing a situation where this man is coming and checking the woman's phone. And then I'm seeing another man's text. And the man is giving her a dirty slap. Slap on her face. The Bible said, What God has joined. What's his name? Simon, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that created the heavens and the earth, I call you back to your wife. In the name of Jesus, may you encounter a man of God and an anointing that will save you and deliver you there. And I declare in the name of Jesus, this baby will not be a bastard. Baby, I speak to you. Every foundational thing programmed in your spirit as a baby, we cancel it right now. Madam, look at me. I decree and declare the favor that was on Esther that made her dancer look at her once and had to call her to be his queen. May that favor come upon you. Listen, don't go to any native doctor. You hear me? Because I'm seeing one mama coming to you in Abuja and she's telling you that there's somebody. She told you he's a man of God. He's a native doctor. Don't go anywhere. Huh? And number two, anybody that says you should bring one naira. What did I say? One naira for prayer. Just thank him and walk away. If, if this poor woman, you still collect money from her for prayer, then you must be a very wicked person, isn't it? In the name of Jesus, he will return with testimony. My brother, come. Are you working? What do you want God to do in your life? Um, I'm a pastor. So when I, I mean, God called me into ministry. So in the field, the back to be, I mean, the came so tough, the, the attacks and the uh, foundation, they became so strong. So I took up. I, I couldn't stay. But up, up to now, God is still calling me back to where I serve him. I've been serving him to. Where, where were you serving? In Kogi State. No. You need mentorship, you need covering, you need impartation. You don't just get up like that and go into ministry. God saved you, they would have killed you like a chicken. There are rules to this thing. Eh? It's not just because you touch somebody and he fell down, you get up and go to Kogi State. Do you know what pursued you back? Eh? It's the mercy of God, it's not witchcraft. They would, they would have died like a chicken. Please listen, I'm not scaring you. But there are systems. Don't get up out of zeal. And just say I am anointed be careful as powerless as Satan is is your understanding that this depowers him if you don't have that understanding you can be anointed and your life will be destroyed praise the Lord my brother hold my hands I'm not just seeing you doing ministry truly you need help eh? you need help after service come and see this man pastor Alpha eh? after service come and see him he will talk with you and guide you and train you and help you in the name of Jesus Christ a time of prophecy and activations some of you are here because you desire higher levels of unction in your ministries your lives your businesses the prophetic word of God is very powerful when there is grace backing it 
because it does not only reveal it creates are we together in the next about two or three minutes i want your heart to genuinely and desperately be open be open in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a grace walking in this gentleman you are the first i know you are doing protocol work but you are the first to receive this grace i see a grace of two of you supernatural gift of the holy ghost taking you to a new dimension in the spirit hallelujah benga come grace another dimension of fire lift your hands grace fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire fresh dimension you speak and there is power of performance power of performance power of performance power of performance no word will be empty you speak and there's grace and the power of performance hallelujah someone come and hold victor come come and hold them somebody grace supernatural influence and wisdom and victory in a strange dimension a dimension you have never seen in your life in the name of Jesus supernatural grace I open up that level grace in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ, the of Jesus Christ. where shall they we're rounding up they are doing their please someone Hold her. I don't want. Hold the child. We have just a minute or two. Hold her. Make sure that ladies, you come and hold her. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is quickening the power of sight, the grace to see, grace to see, the grace to see. Make sure you are holding her well. The grace. To see. Penny, you are taking back fresh fire. Fresh fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh fire. I'm not, it's not like I'm just speaking people. This is, this is just by the Spirit. Come. The Lord is bringing glory on you. Fresh fire. Even upon your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, you see. Hold on. We're out of time, but Pastor, house on the rock, come. You have been desiring something for a long time. Come. God is giving it to you in this season. In the name of Jesus. May that fire, may that grace take it. Drink of that wine in the name of Jesus. Fresh unction. Fresh unction capacity open up your capacity in the spirit in the name of jesus christ there's a heavy spirit under that small girl in the name of jesus christ place it on her just place it on her leave, leave it there in the name of jesus judgment upon that devil foul spirit hallelujah we're out of time but I want you to receive let me start with the men of God you are in ministry here it's time to take something heavy and something genuine let me pray Jaffa come, Ejimi come I'm seeing it a new age Truly new grace and a new wine. New grace and a new wine. A supernatural dimension. 
dimension this grace will speak in unbelievable ways lord bring him into that experience in the name of jesus truly bring him into that experience i open up i open up i open up closed fountains i open up now closed fountains i open up now fire fresh grace for influence 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 business influence new grace new dimensions of wealth influence commanding miracles strange miracles collect that child from hope collect that child from hope in the name of jesus fresh fire hope i activate that dimension fresh fire in the name of jesus god is giving you eyes that see strange dreams revealing direction for people's lives in the name of jesus where's aaron aaron where's aaron in the name of jesus christ the lord says i should tell you seasons of reward are before you seasons of great and strange reward father let it be by the power of your spirit by the power of your spirit lift your hands in the name of jesus christ God, something is coming strong go the unction for new levels in ministry at the count of three if you are here in ministry there is a call of God upon your life one two that fire comes now take that fire now take that fire a new level of ministry a new level of power a new level of grace never to be barren never to be barren never to be barren never to be barren where's Yerima head of department media please come quickly quickly I'm praying where is he oh that's him there in the name of Jesus the Lord says he's bringing you honor untold honor untold honor by the spirit of the living God untold honor untold honor untold honor now I decree and declare Jordan where's Jordan Jordan bookstore I hear restoration where are you restoration fire that restoration fire in the name of Jesus everything the canker worm the palmer worm has stolen restoration in the name of Jesus now I pray for you by the power of the Holy Ghost the Spirit of God comes upon you and you begin to run like Elijah I prophesy speed receive it now receive it now speed 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 by the unction of the Spirit speed by the unction of the Spirit speed in the name of Jesus hallelujah every helper of your destiny that is supposed to show up and partner with you and endorse you to the next level in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I place an unction on your life receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now where's pastor alpha's wife just hold her there she's heavy so in the name of jesus the lord is saying have i not said i will bring you favor it will manifest god is bringing favor after you give birth to your child pastor your family will step into a strange level of favor it will be at the commencement of this boy's birth or this child the moment the child is born in the name of jesus christ there will be strange miracles by the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for you the kind of glory and honor you have never seen upon your life i declare receive it now receive it right now all your tithes your giving god has released the blessings but something has hijacked it in the realm of the spirit 
Jabakatos Kebranda, Lates Kabreteka Pariatos. I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. Whatever was not working in your life before you came here, I decree by the Spirit of the Living God, go back to it and watch it work in a way that will shock you. Whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately. I say it again. Whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately. Anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to make sure that the earth kills you, to make sure that you die, or any bad news from your family, I cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you step into the month of May, by the power that is in the name of Jesus, I declare, in one month alone, in one month, he said, have you ever had this, that a city is born in one day? He said, but as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. I declare, in one month, this month of May, a dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit to bring you strange results. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for your family members in the name that is above all names. If they have never testified from January till now, I command testimonies from next month. I pray for those who are students. You wrote your exams, you cannot rest, you are afraid. Whatever went wrong, I change it now. Whatever went wrong, I change it now. I don't care what went wrong, I change it now. Anyone here trusting God for a job? By May Miracle Service, as surely as the God of heaven lives, may God shake the heavens and the earth and give you your job. And you are here, you are walking, and they've refused to promote you. Whoever sits on your promotion gets out of his office. In the name of Jesus Christ, any human being on this earth who has fraternized with the elements of the supernatural, to limit your life I pray now I command all the elements of the supernatural to fight them the same way the stars fought for Deborah I command the earth to fight them I command their success to fight them Anyone who has trivialized your grace and neglected what you represent to make sure that doors don't open for you, I decree and declare in their presence the Lord will lift you. Any prayer life here that has died because of carelessness, carnality, whatever it is, sin that has been responsible for destroying your prayer life, your passion, you were on fire for God, but there's laziness, carelessness, lukewarmness in the name of Jesus. Like the hair of Samson, I command a sevenfold restoration for you now. Prayer fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has destroyed your word life, no passion. You carry your Bible, you don't even know what to study. You make up your mind that you will study. There is a grace that helps men. I pray in the name of Jesus. May that enabling grace come upon your life now. May that enabling grace come upon your life now. The final prayer I want to pray for you. Listen. There is a name that God is called. The lifter of men. Hear me. Don't let any man lie to you. 
that he can lift you on his own. A man can receive nothing except it is given to him. Do you know lifting is a sign that God is with you? Yes? Read your Bible. Lifting. To leave your current position to another is not a sign of big manism. It truly is a sign that God is with you. Read your Bible. There is nobody that God was with who he did not lift. God who can pick a man from a donkey. Many of us, it's not like you are doing bad. But where you are, you have been there for a long time. Everybody is rising and they come and see you spiritually, financially. Please don't let anybody indoctrinate you that lifting is not of God. If you are not lifted, you will be frustrated at a point. Because the only way to bless others is as you are rising. Therefore, I speak to your life. The God who has gloriously lifted this ministry. The God who by his spirit has helped us. Given us a voice. Connected us to over 44 nations of the earth. Supernaturally by his spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus. Wherever on the surface of the earth. Your lifting is tied to. I decree and declare. Maraca dos calibre de tela tor. Mare dos copre te que labaria tata. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. I speak to your business. Whatever you do, be lifted now in the name of Jesus. I speak to your ministry. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. They are taking for a prey and none say it restore. I say restore. I prophesy restore. In the name of Jesus, wave your hands and give Jesus all the praise. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.